What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 3 at percent chapter 51. Unlocking Kyoka Suigetsu previous chapter. Next chapter advertisement chapter 51 unlocking Kyoka Suigetsu. Of course, Murphy thought it was normal. The defense of the splitting void is self-evident, it can completely defend against Kido under number 89. Teacher Zephyr. You lost. And the moment Zephyr withdrew his strength and landed on the ground, a Zanpakuto was already on his neck. Looking at the white clothed boy in front of him, Zephyr was also in a trance. Lost? To be honest, Zephyr really didn't expect such a situation to happen. The students in the elite camp are very strong, especially guys like Sakazuki and Paluzalino, whose strength has reached the level of Marine Rear Admiral. He originally thought that it would be enough to suppress his strength to the position of vice admiral, but who would have thought that Murphy would defeat him so easily? Of course, although he said he lost, Zephyr didn't feel embarrassed or anything, after all, he was suppressing his own strength and playing, so it couldn't be considered a real loss. But Murphy's side is completely different. Open black lens bracket defeat the marine admiral Zephyr. The template unlocking level reaches 20%. Unlock new abilities. Zanpakuto Kyoka Suigetsu Shikai. Close black lens bracket. Seeing this message, even Murphy was stunned on the spot. Advertisement Kyoka Suigetsu. This is Aizen's most signature ability. Before acquiring abilities, Aizen's most notable abilities are three abilities Ryatsu, Wisdom, and Kyoka Suigetsu. The extremely powerful Ryatsu can even abandon the chant and use Kido to kill Gote 13 Captain in one hit. Ingenuity secretly conducting the hollow experiment and even using this layout to easily frame Hiroko and other captains and vice-captains, the heaven-defying ingenuity that can easily play with the soul society in the palm of his hand. Finally, there is Kyoka Suigetsu, complete hypnosis, which dominates the opponent's five senses, through which he successfully feigned death, destroyed Central 46, and obtained Hogyoku. It is even possible to use Kyoka Suigetsu to interfere with Yuhabok's omniscience and omnipotence. Another point that Murphy cares about is that he defeated Zephyr under water release, but the template experience of system unlocking is still as high as nearly 5%. The horror of this data is simply unbelievable. In other words, it seems that the intelligence of this system is not high. It can only be judged that I defeated Zephyr, but it cannot be judged how much strength Zephyr used. Although it was just a simple test, Murphy also felt that the system's intelligence was not very high. Murphy, what's wrong with you? Outside, it was impossible for Zephyr and the others to hear what Murphy was thinking in his heart, but they saw Murphy stop suddenly, not knowing what happened. Advertisement, no, it's nothing, I just didn't expect that I could really defeat teacher Zephyr. Murphy smiled gently, and waved his hands to indicate to Zephyr that he was nothing. Indeed, you already have this kind of strength, Zephyr replied blankly, seeing the vigorous look of the young man in white robe in front of him. At the same time, it also made Zephyr a little speechless. He didn't know what to say, he was less than 20 years old, and Admiral's backup strength was already there. Who can imagine this kind of strength? Murphy's growth rate is too fast. I didn't expect it. You guys have the strength to defeat teacher Zephyr. Sakazuki looked at Murphy with complicated eyes. Murphy can already defeat Zephyr, but they can only simply fight against Zephyr, and together they are all beaten by Zephyr. Thanks to Sakazuki and Paluzalino for helping me restrain me. For the praise of everyone, he also credited his credit to Sakazuki and Paluzalino, very humble. This made Sakazuki and Paluzalino on the side a little unsure of what expressions to use to deal with it. It was clear that they hadn't done anything to help, and it was Murphy who was singled out against Zephyr. Murphy. Sakazuki squeezed his hand tightly, pinched it very rarely, then took a deep breath and said, This is your own credit, it has nothing to do with us but I will not give up challenging you of. Although Sakazuki has seen the gap, he still refuses to give up. He is a very competitive person. Although he and Murphy are friends, Sakazuki will never give up on this issue. He just wants to be stronger, stronger, then beat Murphy. Seeing Sakazuki's unwillingness to admit defeat, Zephyr on the side also came back to his senses, and touched his forehead helplessly. Advertisement however, he still quite approves of Sakazuki's unyielding attitude. At least it's better than Kazaru's lazy look. Okay. The test for the three of you is over. 
Give the place to someone else. Soon, Zephyr also called the three out of the center of the field together. With his failure, this first test naturally came to an end. Of course, the second and third tests soon followed. Obviously, in Murphy and Sakazuki. After Paluzalino's group, the strength of the following groups can be said to have dropped significantly by the naked eye. Not to mention defeating Zephyr directly like Murphy, there are not many people who can even be a little more decent and learn how to fight Zephyr back and forth like Sakazuki and Paluzalino. However, because the purpose of the rules is not to defeat Zephyr, and Zephyr suppresses its own strength, through various fighting methods, everyone finally succeeded in obtaining Zephyr's approval with their own methods. After all, tactical strategy is also a kind of combat. Chapter 52. Vice Admiral Previous Chapter Next Chapter. Advertisement Chapter 52. Vice Admiral seeing many students lying on the ground moaning, Zephyr didn't say anything. Although he didn't feel that it was a shameful thing for him to be defeated by Murphy, but he was more or less concerned about it, so he accidentally took it a lot more seriously in the following battles. The end result is that nearly half of the people are lying on the ground. Everyone, assemble! Zephyr's loud voice came out immediately. As soon as the voice fell, those students who were still able to move quickly stood up, and then everyone helped those who had just been hit by Zephyr and couldn't move, and walked to the front of Zephyr together. The same is true for Murphy, he is supporting a guy who is biting a cigar and smiling all over his face. This guy is the future naval headquarters vice admiral burning volcano. Like Murphy, this guy always has a smile on his face, and everyone the relationship is quite good. But the difference with Murphy is that this guy looks a bit naive, while Murphy looks like a humble gentleman. Advertisement, sorry to trouble you, Murphy. Xiao Huan said to Murphy apologetically. We are all comrades in arms at the same time, and we should support each other. Murphy also responded with a smile, that kind of confident and sure temperament made people feel quite comfortable. Murphy. Looking at the young man in front of him, Xiao Huan looked a little dull and didn't say a word. Let's go, after today, there won't be so many people who can be together. Murphy chuckled, looking in Zephyr's direction with some deep eyes. And Zephyr above was a little emotional when he saw this scene. For these students, they will go their separate ways, and for Zephyr, their first batch of students will also leave. The first time is always unforgettable, especially for Zephyr. What's more, the standard of this elite camp can be said to be terrible. Murphy, a monster who already has Admiral's backup strength, and the other two Sakazuki and Paluzalino are candidates for Marine Admiral in the future if there is no accident. And other people will basically be able to achieve the position of Marine Vice Admiral in the future. Okay. The test is over. I will arrange your military ranks based on your test. As for the transfer of positions, I will wait for the next arrangement at the headquarters. After speaking, Zephyr also came over and took out of the roster. Long ago, Kong had given Zephyr the qualification to arrange the ranks of these elite battalion cadets. Of course, higher military ranks cannot be arranged directly by Zephyr. The authority Kong gave to Zephyr is that the ranks below Marine Commodore can be placed arbitrarily. Advertisement after all, as soon as you reach the general level, you have the qualification to learn some core content. Naturally, this right cannot be released casually. The reason why Zephyr can be directly assigned to the position of Commodore is because Zephyr is a Marine Admiral after all, and he will not be too old to be blinded. Doberman, Mole, Burning Volcano Zephyr read the names of a large number of people in a row, except for Murphy, Sakazuki and Paluzalino. After reading almost everyone in the elite battalion, Zephyr said, Based on your performance and strength, you are now awarded the rank of colonel in the marine branch. The position is tentative, waiting for the follow-up arrangement of the headquarters. After listening, the people who had just been read, even those who had just been hammered half to death by Zephyr and needed someone to support them, forcibly cheered up, saluted respectfully, and then replied with the loudest voice. Understood. Seeing everyone like this, Zephyr nodded in satisfaction, and then turned his attention to Sakazuki, Paluzalino, and Murphy next to him. Sakazuki, Paluzalino, you too, I will now grant you the rank of Commodore of the Marine Branch. The position is tentative, waiting for the headquarters to arrange. Understood. Sakazuki and Paluzalino just saluted casually, as if they didn't particularly care about such cumbersome etiquette. Geniuses are always maverick and don't like to be restrained. Usually, these two guys don't even fight against Zephyr, 
and now Zephyr is very satisfied with being obedient. As for Murphy, hearing that Zephyr was going to say Murphy, everyone in the elite camp stood up with great interest, including Sakazuki and Paluzalino. They also felt it from Zephyr reading their names, and Murphy's position was definitely higher than them, including Sakazuki and Paluzalino. Otherwise, when I just read Sakazuki and Paluzalino, I must have read Murphy's position by the way. Advertisement Although it is said that Marshal Kong gave me the highest authority that can only be granted to Commodore, but before you arrived at the headquarters, the branch of New World sent a joint letter to Marshal Kong. Zephyr did not directly mention Murphy's military rank, but first mentioned the joint letter to Murphy. Joint letter. Hearing this, Murphy was also a little surprised, but he quickly realized what happened. And the other people below are also in a mess, rubbing shoulders and whispering, not knowing what happened. I sent a joint letter to Kong, and everyone is very curious about the content. Ahem. Seeing the commotion below, Zephyr coughed twice, and immediately quieted down below, as if a teacher was teaching junior high school students. Then Zephyr looked at Murphy and said, Looking at your expression, you should have already guessed what happened. So the military rank awarded to you was determined by Marshal Kong himself. The position is Vice Admiral of the New World Marine Branch, and as the branch chief staff. As soon as the voice fell, everything below exploded in an instant. Chapter 53 Branch Staff Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 53 Branch Staff Marine Branch Vice Admiral Although it is a branch, the rank content of the headquarters is higher than the first level, but the position of Vice Admiral is extraordinary. Because whether it is the Vice Admiral of the headquarters or the Vice Admiral of the branch, they all need to guard one side. There may be a gap in strength, but it is definitely not comparable to the rear admiral of the headquarters. And, the most critical point is, none of them had been assigned a position, and Murphy had been assigned the position of branch chief of staff. The position of staff officer can be said to be quite important in the marine system, just like the later crane chief of staff, although it is said to be naval headquarters vice admiral, but even marine marshal cannot ignore crane's opinion, and admiral also listens to crane's arrangements. The vice admiral of the branch is guarding the branch, but there can be two or three together at the same time, but there is only one general staff officer, and that is the veritable leader of the branch. Power over all people, in other words, Murphy has reached the sky in one step, directly achieving the position of the leader of the branch. Advertisement It is almost impossible to grant such a position to a newcomer. After thinking about it, everyone knows how important the branch vice admiral and the branch general staff are to a branch and the treatment must be quite different. What requires long-term accumulation and reputation and the contribution to Marine is able to reach this position. Everyone needs to be inspected and reviewed by Marshal Marine before they can sit on it. Even if some people are strong enough, they only use the name of Vice Admiral, and they don't really manage things, they are just a deterrent to the outside world. In other words, they have strength but no rights. After all, no one has the strength to be worthy of the important position of staff officer. Don't be dazed, Mr. Murphy. This is the vice admiral of the branch and the general staff of the branch, who strongly recommended you to the marshal. Besides, they can see what your branch is doing. If you go directly to take over, the prestige is enough. Seeing that Murphy seemed to be frightened by the news, Zephyr on the side also hurriedly said. To be honest, Zephyr was a little surprised to hear the news. Not relying on seniority and status, but purely relying on his own IQ. Murphy has already gained prestige over everyone in the marine branch. This kind of ability is indeed rare. And Zephyr doesn't have to worry about things like being squeezed out after the new Murphy passes, which will lead to the inability to improve his strength. From the joint name of the branch, it can be seen that Murphy's reputation may have surpassed the old Vice Admiral Keaton of the branch. After hearing Zephyr's reminder, Abel reacted, and then saluted Zephyr. I understand. Seeing Murphy like this, Zephyr also sighed in his heart. Advertisement already at the helm of a marine branch at such a young age, Murphy's future achievements are simply unimaginable. No wonder why Kong was so quick to believe that Murphy could be a future marine. Of course, there is one more thing that is extremely important to Murphy. New World. There is one difference between New World's branch and all other branches, that is, it is under the jurisdiction of the headquarters to a very low degree, because it is located in the New World area. The New World branch may encounter various problems at any time, 
So no matter whether it is a sortie order or others, it does not need to be authorized by the headquarters, and it can be said to be a completely independent organization. The Four Seas is relatively stable. In order to strengthen control, the marine branch of the Four Seas is subject to the control of the headquarters. It seems that the plan is about to be put on the agenda. When no one noticed, a strange smile flashed across Murphy's face, and the slightly raised corner of his mouth made people seem to see two completely different people. People. But just for a moment, Murphy's expression returned to its usual gentle look. Afternoon after assigning their respective military ranks, they also went to Sengoku Admiral to assign various positions, of course, Murphy, who had already determined the positions in advance, naturally did not need to go again. It's just that after Sakazuki and Paluzolino made a few short remarks, everyone was basically assigned to each Vice Admiral to handle affairs. At the beginning, they were basically engaged in some things within the Marine. As for when you can go to the battlefield, that depends on how everyone handles the internal affairs of the Marine. After all, the elite camp is a place dedicated to training marine generals, and it is absolutely impossible to not have the ability to deal with internal affairs. Advertisement it's just that after many people compared the gap between Murphy and them, the whole person didn't look very good, the gap is really too big. One is the top person in charge of an independent marine base, and they are the followers of the other vice admirals. Of course, everyone knows that Murphy also got the recognition after working in the New World branch with Dunk Vice Admiral the staff member of the branch, for more than half a year. Murphy, who didn't go to Sengoku, happened to meet Zephyr who came out of the elite camp. Teacher Zephyr, are you going to pick up the second batch of elite camp students? Hmm. Sengoku and Kong are very serious about it, they just want me not to stop for a moment, Zephyr replied with a smile. Because of the death of his wife and children, he now devotes all his enthusiasm and energy to these students of his. After the first year of the elite camp, Zephyr also slowly came out of the original shadow. But seeing that these spiritual pillars of his are about to leave, Zephyr also feels a little indescribable, both lonely and happy. But in general, he still looks forward to seeing the students of these elite camps grow up faster. Everyone who goes out from here, he hopes to be able to be independent in the future. Chapter 54. Only Yuan joins the elite camp. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement chapter 54th. Only Yuan joins the elite camp. And at this moment, Zephyr seemed to suddenly remember something, and said to Murphy mysteriously. Oh, you may not know it. He just mentioned to me that he plans to let his little sister Ji Yuan also joins the elite camp. Murphy frowned strangely at Zephyr's words. Since she is the younger sister of Crane Vice Admiral, wouldn't it be good to let Crane Vice Admiral guide her? There is no need to do such a thing, right? Murphy asked a little puzzled. Although the elite camp is very good, if you really want to say it, it is definitely not as good as Crane's individual guidance. Although Crane Vice Admiral's strength is weaker than Zephyr's, it's not too far behind. After all, he can easily suppress that Doflamingo master when he is very old. Up. Being able to have such a person to guide alone is definitely more suitable than being in the elite camp. What's more, the elite camp is dominated by men after all and his boat is full of women. If you had to choose, normally you would choose his side. It's true that Suru himself was the one to guide Ziyuan before, but it seems that something happened. Having said that, Zephyr looked at Murphy with a bit of trepidation. Advertisement however, he did not directly say that Yuan wanted to join the elite camp because of Murphy. Even if it's not the same time, accident, Murphy also seemed a little puzzled by Zephyr's mysterious appearance. Ha <laughs> ha. It's nothing, let's talk about it later, it's not the time to talk about such things. Zephyr laughed twice, and didn't explain anything. Indeed, after staying at the headquarters for two days, I'm going back to my job. Although he can already deal with the affairs there with ease, there are still a series of routine procedures to be done in the headquarters to award Vice Admiral and the Branch Chief of Staff. After completing these tasks in the past two days, he has to go back to the Branch to guard. After all, New World is not like other places, which may be attacked at any time, so he must go back as soon as possible. To be honest, Murphy himself did not expect this situation. To be precise, he has not considered these issues. If he thinks about it seriously, with his almost monster-like intelligence, Murphy can also roughly infer what happened to him. But he didn't waste his brain cells on such things. 
and he was in a hurry to go back and there was another thing to do. Time passes quickly advertisement Murphy also finished the formalities at naval headquarters, and then headed back towards New World. There was no other person who arrived in New World at the same time except Murphy. But it's understandable when you think about it. After all, these are the geniuses of the elite battalion. It's not the time to put them into the most intense battles. They will be put in the first half of the Grand Line to practice for a while before they can go to New York. World. After all, many people died in New World during their internship in New World before. This was the case even with the protection of Marine Admiral Zephyr, let alone without the protection of Zephyr. Until these people have a certain ability to protect themselves, I am afraid that the headquarters will not allow them to set foot in New World again. Although Murphy is said to be capable, and his decision-making ability was also shown in the previous G3 branch, it is impossible for the headquarters to directly put Murphy on such important branches as G1 and G5. One is that Murphy's reputation is basically in the G3 branch, so going directly here will not cause any conflicts, and the other is that the G1 and G5 branches are both New World Marine stationed in the heart of the pirate activity site. If you don't have the strength it can be said that it is difficult for the extremely powerful generals to guard. Now Marine has only one admiral on the surface, while Sengoku has to guard naval headquarters, and Zephyr has transferred to the second line to train new players. Garp is the only one who can guard these places. And now Garp is stationed at the G1 branch after being transferred. After all, although Garp is only Vice Admiral, his reputation is no worse than Admiral, and only he can guard such a place. The rest of the G5 branch are also some old-fashioned powerful Vice Admirals, and each of them is an existence that can be pulled out to be independent. It is naturally impossible for the headquarters to arrange for Murphy to be the general staff in such a place. Advertisement. Although the G3 branch is in New World, it is relatively stable, mainly because it is ready to support the G5 branch in battle at any time, and usually does not encounter active attacks. When Murphy returned to the G3 branch, he was naturally greeted by many people, but there was no such cumbersome celebration banquet, and the military style was relatively simple. It's over when several of his old acquaintances from the G3 branch, Vice Admiral, take him to the Marine cafeteria and have a good meal. Ha ha. Murphy boy, I said you can replace me. Keaton Vice Admiral also said with a smile, he didn't say this to Murphy at the beginning, but he had already arranged a joint letter to the headquarters. A student of Zephyr, at the age of 19, he is already a Marine Admiral backup. He has the unknown ability of Paramesha Devil Fruit, and he is proficient in two-color hockey. You are simply too strong. You are stronger than when I was young. I don't know. How many? Looking at Murphy's employment notice, which is full of evaluations, Keaton Vice Admiral couldn't help but click his tongue. With such potential and strength, and being favored by a large number of people such as Kong, Zephyr, Sengoku, Crane, etc., Murphy will inevitably have a smooth journey or even reach the sky in one step in the future. Moreover, the people in New World knew quite well what Murphy did in New World back then. It can be said that people can only feel two words, perfect. Perfect character, potential, strength. Chapter 55. Kyoka Suigetsu. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement. Kitten Vice Admiral is overrated. I am a young man who will serve as the general staff, and I will have to rely on the help of an experienced person like Keaton Vice Admiral in the future. Murphy also said very modestly. Ha ha ha. This year, you are the one who makes the decisions, and I will be your helper. Although it is true that Murphy has been doing these things this year, he has almost completely let go of Murphy. But hearing such words, Keaton Vice Admiral was quite happy. Your prestige is already enough to be the leader of the G3 branch, and I will just assist you from the sidelines. It happens that I am already old, so just let my old bones stay here and wait for you to settle down for a while. You can come to me to discuss any troublesome matters in the future. Keaton Vice Admiral also said very readily. People of his age should also retire to the background, just a brief guidance here is enough. The world is still a young man's world, and an old guy like him has already seen it clearly. The next day at this time, Murphy can be regarded as officially starting to take office. This is really a big test from the very beginning. As soon as he arrived at the office the next day, Murphy felt a little bit of pressure. Advertisement The reason is also very simple, there are too many documents in front of him. 
This is the sum of all the documents of Murphy Vice Admiral since you left the branch and returned to the headquarters today. Seeing Murphy's expression froze, the orderly on the side seemed to have expected this situation a long time ago, explained the reason to Murphy, and then hurriedly then he added. Kitten Vice Admiral has become completely indifferent since he finished the joint letter. He said that the headquarters will send a new general staff, so. Okay, I see. Hearing this, Murphy roughly understood what was going on. It seems that Vice Admiral should have a high voice in front of Kong, so he can be sure that Murphy will take his place next. Then I'll leave first. Murphy Vice Admiral. Seeing that Murphy understood what was going on, the orderly on the side nodded and prepared to leave the office. Wait. Get me some refreshing tea. I'll finish the paperwork together today. Murphy ordered to the orderly. Okay. Hearing Murphy's order, the orderly turned around and nodded, and then ran out to make tea. And Murphy also started to process the files in his hand, but fortunately, he had already processed a lot of them before, so there was no major problem at all. After all, there are not so many things in this branch, and there are only tens of thousands of people in management. Although there are many troubles, most of them will not come here. In this way, Murphy was completely overwhelmed by various documents on the first day he took office, and it would be two days after he cleared up the backlog of documents. Boom! The teacup next to him gently landed on the desk, and the last document was closed and put away, and the matter was finally over. Advertisement, notify the prison, I'm going to inspect it. After finishing the documents, Murphy instructed the orderly next to him. Now as the chief of staff of the branch, Murphy has the right to inspect the work of any place, so when Murphy said so, the orderly next to him didn't say much, but just informed the prison to prepare for the inspection step by step. After all, at this time, Murphy is the number one person in charge of the branch, and any part of the branch has to be careful when facing him, and can't make mistakes. Inspection? I understand, this side will be ready. On the other side, the person in charge of the prison department also nodded after hearing this and didn't say much. The new official must have something to do when he takes office, and inspecting the internal situation is the most important thing. After receiving the order, the person in charge of the prison also moved quickly. All the persons in charge, big and small, went to the conference hall. A total of three rear admirals and nine commodores came to the conference hall. And Murphy also waited in the conference hall early, until the last general appeared. Hi everyone, I'm Marine Vice Admiral Murphy, the newly promoted Marine Vice Admiral Murphy, but everyone is an acquaintance who has already met, so I will say more polite words. Murphy said with a very ordinary smile. He was indeed an acquaintance, he had been in this branch for more than half a year, and all the generals present knew about Murphy's dreamlike experience. Yes, we don't need to be polite but we didn't expect it, you were a student a few days ago, and now you have surpassed us in official positions. No rear admiral leaders also said with a smile. Compared to them, the rear admiral commodore, what happened to Murphy was naturally quite shocking, no matter what Murphy did, they didn't have the guts to do it themselves. Advertisement, but to be honest, your coming to our place really reassures everyone, after all, everyone has seen what you have done in the past six months. Yes. When Murphy replaced the old vice admiral in making decisions, everyone's success and the decline in casualties were quite significant. And we also heard that Murphy you beat Zephyr Admiral in the graduation test, is that true? Among the crowd, suddenly a Commodore asked Murphy, which brought everyone's attention back to Murphy. Defeating Admiral Zephyr is simply unimaginable. However, if you count Murphy's previous record of beating world destroyer Valdo alone, I am afraid it will be quite convincing. The boy in front of him who looked less than 20 years old already possessed the fighting power of Marine Admiral. Zephyr Admiral was won by accident because I released the water. Well, let's stop here. I have something to show you before the inspection. At this time, Murphy's eyes suddenly flashed a touch of unknown of light. Immediately afterwards, he stood up and pulled out Kyoka Suigetsu from his hand. Chapter 56 The Rat, a fragment of Hogyoku previous chapter. Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 56 The White Rat, a fragment of Hogyoku. Shatter it, Kyoka Suigetsu. After speaking, Kyoka Suigetsu in Murphy's hand disappeared like a puff of smoke, and then changed back quickly. And Murphy went straight back to his seat. Okay, the small talk is almost over, let's go and see what's going on in the prison. Murphy said with a normal face, 
as if the words he said that he wanted to show them something had never happened before. And everyone present seemed to have not heard Murphy's previous words at all, and echoed without any strangeness. Yes, let's go. Having said that, the people here also walked out one by one. There is nothing unusual, it looks like it has been completely successful. Seeing that the crowd had been completely controlled by Kyoka Suigetsu, Murphy couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth. Of course, Murphy didn't stay too long, but followed everyone's footsteps towards the prison. With the help of Kyoka Suigetsu, coupled with the particularity of the New World branch and the status of the general staff of the branch, he can start his own plan in this branch. Every system in Marine has its own rules, and Murphy doesn't have to worry about people from other systems running into the prison to find out what's wrong. Even if other Marine generals want to enter the prison, they have to go through the prison first. The person in charge here agrees to enter. Advertisement for Murphy, this is still a very manageable thing. The reason for not directly controlling the entire base is also very simple, because there are too many people in the base, and it is not an easy task to bring everyone under the control of Kyoka Suigetsu. He only needs to control all the senior generals, and then the guards on the prison side are enough to implement the plan. And Murphy also used the same method, first gathered all the jailers in the prison together, and then controlled them with Kyoka Suigetsu, and then walked into the prison alone. Even in the branch of Marine, the prisons are also divided into levels. Although there are not as many levels as in the deep sea prison, they are roughly divided into three levels. The bottom floor is used to detain some big pirates who are temporarily sent here. Although the area is large, few people come here. Walking down the stairs slowly, Murphy soon reached the third floor of the prison. Looking inside, I saw a huge and incomparably deep pit below. It is not so much a floor as it is a meteor crater. As that, the pirate Nia, the guy with a bounty of 400 million, I didn't expect to be imprisoned in this kind of place. Soon, Murphy found the only pirate imprisoned here. An ancient animal saber-toothed tiger form ability user, and also an ability user who awakened the devil fruit ability, a big pirate with a bounty of more than 400 million, has powerful attack power and speed, even the skin can be said to be invulnerable, even ordinary Gianao couldn't even tear his skin. Murphy had only seen this guy in the reward order a long time ago, but he didn't expect that he would be captured by Marine and secretly held in such a place. Advertisement Even as the actual head of the previous branch, Murphy had no idea that such a monster was being held here. Exactly, if such a guy is made into a void, he must be able to match the fighting power of the top five Espadas. Murphy didn't think too much, paved the way with spiritual seeds, and walked towards the bottom step by step. Little devil. It doesn't look like a jailer who came to bring me food. What are you doing here? Murphy just walked down when the pirate's voice came from below. I'm here to give you new powers, that's all. Murphy smiled faintly, and then a gemstone shining with dark blue light emerged from Murphy's pocket. The gemstone that shone with mysterious light seemed to contain incredible power. A mutilated version of Hobyoku. As one of the makers of Hobyoku, Aizen naturally knew how to make Hobyoku, and Murphy also inherited this memory of Hobyoku making. However, it is a little troublesome that the concentration of spirit particles in this world is very low, and it is almost impossible to find a pure soul like Shinigami. But Murphy is not in a hurry, because even with such soul conditions, he still needs more than a hundred years to create a complete Hogyoku. So Murphy used his knowledge of Hogyoku and the conditions of the world to create what he now has. The fragments of Hogyoku. There are two effects. The first is to allow the user to obtain extremely terrifying resilience, and the second is to transform the human beings in this world into existences similar to the void. Advertisement in this Hogyoku was made by Murphy when he slaughtered pirates in New World. After slaughtering so many pirates in New World, only four pieces of Hogyoku have been produced in Murphy's hands so far. Pieces of Hogyoku. Boy, what are you going to do? Although it was the first time they met, the other party still felt very sensitively that Murphy's intention might not be that simple. You'll know soon. After saying that, before the other party could feel any trace, the extremely sharp Zanpakuto pierced directly into his chest. Blood splashed out in response, and the internal organs in the body were visible to the naked eye, appearing bloody in front of him. Damn. Poof. As soon as he opened his mouth, a stream of blood flowed out, and then his body trembled slightly and fell to the ground, and he was silent after a while. I hope you will be a good test subject. 
My first guinea pig. The young man in white smiled, and casually removed the square rimmed glasses above the bridge of his nose that revealed a strong scholarly temperament. Chapter 57 Hollow Experiment Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 57 Hollow Experiment The moment Murphy took off his glasses, it was as if a special switch had been turned on, and an incomparably fierce aura emanated from him, which was completely different from the approachable attitude he had shown in front of everyone in the past, it's all different. His temperament changed instantly, from a gentle and gentle gentleman to a domineering and ruthless emperor. Use the power of this Hogyoku shard. Murphy casually squinted at the fallen body, and slowly spread his palms. The extremely round fragment in the palm of the hand seemed to contain powerful power, as if it violated the laws of physics, it fell slowly at an extremely low speed, and then fell into the chest of the corpse in front of Murphy. Zzzz. Suddenly, there was a sound of accelerated decay and dissolution of the corpse, followed by white foam from the wound on the corpse's chest, eyes, mouth, nose, and ears. This horrific scene would have moved anyone if they saw it. Advertisement. It seems that some terrible monster will appear. Soon, the layers of thick white matter directly covered the whole person, leaving only the radiant Hogyoku fragment at the center of the chest. It's like a heart that keeps beating. Is it really the same as I guessed? Naturally, the concentration of spirit particles is too low. Only with the help of Hogyoku fragments can we forcibly hollow them out, otherwise we will die directly in the middle. But I don't know if Big Mom can bear it. Survive the process of hollow. Seeing the situation in front of him, Murphy can roughly feel that Hollow's process has been successful. And this scene also reminded him of that guy Big Mom, the sole soul fruit ability user. If he was Big Mom, he might be able to perform Hollow normally without using the power of Hogyoku fragments. After less than half an hour, I saw that the pirate lying on the ground had stopped producing white bone foam, and slowly began to take shape, turning into a masked face with a mask on his chest. The appearance of a monster filled with Hogyoku fragments. What kind of thing is that? It is about four or five meters long, and its face can't be seen clearly. It is covered with a white bone mask and has extremely powerful claws. All in all, it is a strange creature that has never appeared before. As expected of the combination of the Hogyoku fragments and the 400 million bounty big pirate, it has the strength of Ajukas directly. Seeing this scene, Murphy also looked a little surprised. Ajukas level voids are already quite scary second only to vasto lord level voids you must know that the number of vasto lord level voids is quite rare with hueco mundo existing for such a long time the vasto lord level that was born is also there are only tucker baragan hurley bell ulakiola nilu and niutaushu advertisement and this guy has just become hollow even with the help of hobyoku fragments reaching the ajukas level in one go is enough to show his potential as long as this guy is given a while, it must not be a problem to become the highest level Vasto Lord. Roar. In an instant, the monster in front of him roared wildly, and the tyrannical Ryatsu almost solidified red. Obviously a Jukas, but still irrational. It seems that the situation is a little different from Hueco Mundo. Seeing the crazy look of the monster in front of him, Murphy said lightly. If it's Hueco Mundo's Ajukas, it must be a guy who already understands and can talk but this guy in front of him is still crazy. Sure enough, putting a collar on these beasts in advance is the right choice. With that said, Murphy rolled up his sleeves, revealing what looked like a watch, and pressed a button next to it. In the next second, the monster, which was still extremely violent, suddenly turned red all over, exuded an astonishing temperature, and began to roll crazily on the ground in pain. This way you will be much quieter, after pressing the button on his hand again. The body of the monster in front of Murphy also slowly returned to normal. But this time, the monster didn't have the energy to make a fuss anymore. It was obvious that what happened just now had completely exhausted all the energy of this guy. Advertisement As long as Murphy uses the device for another 10 seconds, the ghost in front of him will evaporate at an extremely fast speed, leaving only a Hobyoku shard in the end. The evolution is not complete enough. It seems that this guy has to devour some souls. Let's stay here for a while. You are not allowed to leave here without my order. Otherwise, you should know what will happen. Although he said he was irrational, but as an Ajuka's level Zon, this Zon at least knows what danger is. Presumably after the torture just now, this guy didn't dare to run around anymore. 
Of course, if this guy really escaped from the prison, Murphy could just find a reason to kill him, and it's impossible for anyone to suspect that he created this monster. After walking out, Murphy ordered the jailers here to throw three or four prisoners into this deep pit every day to feed this Ajuka's level monster. With Kyoka Suigetsu's control, these jailers just mistakenly think that some prisoners need to be sent to another cell every day, and they don't see the Ajukas below. He even completely forgot that a big pirate named Nia with a bounty of 400 million was once imprisoned here. Of course, even if it was really exposed, Murphy is also sure to blame everything on another person without anyone knowing. Just like the former Captain Hiroko and others of the Soul Society, fleeing from the Soul Society became the Masked Army. 26% Chapter 58 The Golden Lion Attacks Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 58 The Golden Lion Attacks A week or so passed quickly. Of course, according to Murphy's idea, it is natural to study the issues about Hogyoku here first, and create a brand new Hogyoku if possible. As for the virtual products that are incidental, they are all incidental products and are not worth caring about. However, just after Murphy used Kyoka Suigetsu to control all the branches and important marine leadership one by one, a guy who felt quite tricky appeared. Murphy Vice Admiral. The Golden Lion is attacking. Inside the office, the orderly rushed in, looking extraordinarily flustered. In fact, this person does not need to report, Murphy has already sensed the arrival of a powerful enemy through sensory nerves and observation hockey. Are you really worthy of the Golden Lion for attacking the Marine Branch? Murphy didn't show too much fear or surprise, but admired the Golden Lion. I have to say that he is the great pirate who is as famous as Roger and Whitebeard, the captain of the Flying Pirates, Golden Lion, the chief admiral of the large fleet, Golden Lion. The guy who will single handedly rush into naval headquarters and fight Garp Sengoku for three days and three nights in the future. Using tricks, Murphy has the confidence to walk away from Whitebeard or Roger, but Golden Lion is different. Not because of resourcefulness, but simply because Golden Lion is simply an unpredictable lunatic. Guys like this can only be exploited and there is no room for any conversation at all. If it was before, he didn't have the confidence to face Golden Lion Murphy. Advertisement but now. Having already unlocked 20% of the Aizen template, he already has enough confidence to challenge monsters at the level of the three great pirates. Especially now that Kyoka Suigetsu in his hands gives Murphy plenty of confidence. Golden Lion. One of the three great pirates, and a great swordsman, I really want to see it. Murphy raised the corner of his mouth slightly, and said with great interest. Although he is said to be capable, Golden Lion is also an extremely powerful swordsman, and his strength is quite strong. Coupled with the powerful two-color hockey, even if it is a competition of swordsmanship, I am afraid that it also has the ability to aspire to the number one in the world. Thinking of this, Murphy also went out directly and came to the port of the marine branch. Soon, he saw the guy with the ground-length golden hair like a lion's mane. Looking at it this way, it is indeed a real golden lion. Seeing the Golden Lion's attire, Murphy nodded and said. At the same time, Murphy is also a little curious. Obviously, the Golden Lion has already entered such a close place, why hasn't the official start of the fight yet? Murphy Vice Admiral, the other party seems to come to you by name. While Murphy was still wondering, a Commodore next to him came over and talked to Murphy secretly. Before Murphy asked the reason, the golden lion on the opposite side seemed to have discovered Murphy's existence, and said directly, Murphy kid, I didn't expect to be promoted to the position of vice admiral just after graduating from the elite camp. But the vice admiral of the branch admiral is not so easy to be. Marine wants to pave the way for your genius. Let Lousy tell you that the new world is not so easy to mess with. Advertisement with a cigar in his mouth, golden lion spoke provocatively. For this genius in Marine, Golden Lion has already had the idea of obliterating him. He is not a person who cares about face like Whitebeard, but a genuine unscrupulous hero. As soon as they heard that Murphy was appointed as the general staff of the Marine G3 branch, Golden Lion rushed directly to prepare for the war with the G3 branch without saying a word. After all, the other branches are protected by a group of powerful vice admirals or guys with admiral combat power like Garp. Although Golden Lion may not necessarily lose, they will definitely fight quite fiercely. But in the face of a little ghost who just graduated from the elite camp, Golden Lion didn't have the slightest thought of fear. I see, 
Looking for a soft persimmon? It really fits your style, Golden Lion. Murphy pushed his glasses lightly, and said with a smile on his face, but the words about Golden Lion were extremely explicit ridicule. Ha ha ha. Kid, I'm a pirate and you guys are marines. Do you think there is any morality between us? Golden Lion laughed wildly, he was a little interested in what Murphy said nothing. The pirate's style is fully reflected in him, he will not give up because of such boring reasons, he will do it directly if he wants to do it, and he will not stop because of other people's gossip. Really? But what you met today is not a soft persimmon. Looking at the nearly 2,000 pirates in front of him, Murphy's aura suddenly became terrifying. A terrifying aura lingered over the Golden Lion pirates. The atmosphere became extremely oppressive. That's not Riatsu, it's pure momentum. Advertisement, this kid. Right in front of him, the Golden Lion also came to meet Murphy's gaze. The four eyes are facing each other. The atmosphere became extremely silent. Next second it seems that it was agreed at the same time. In the next second, terrifying aura erupted from both sides at the same time, and they collided directly. Conqueror's hockey is bright red on one side, and Riatsu is blue on the other. Hum. Hum. The two extremely powerful momentums collided, colliding together like two nuclear explosions centered on different places, and then turned into red and blue airwave fragments visible to the naked eye, directly sweeping across the entire port. This is not a place for you to randomly place hockey, Golden Lion. Said lightly, Murphy paved the way with spiritual particles, walked step by step in the air, and walked towards the direction of the Golden Lion Pirates. 27% Chapter 59, The Jealous Golden Lion Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 59, The Jealous Golden Lion Didn't you use Moonwalk, Ability? Seeing Murphy walking step by step in the air, Golden Lion frowned. Now the outside world has a lot of speculation about Murphy's Devil Fruit Ability, but almost no one knows how many functions Murphy's Devil Fruit Ability has. Fortunately, although they don't know what the ability is, they have roughly analyzed some conclusions. At least figured out some of Murphy's tricks. So, Golden Lion, are you planning to avenge those subordinates who died at my hands? Murphy asked with a smile. Revenge? Who do you think Lousy is? Whitebeard's nannies? They're just a bunch of trash, and there's nothing to say about being killed. I came to you just to kill you here, that's all. Golden Lion said with some disdain. The words are full of disdain for Whitebeard's approach. He is not a nanny like Whitebeard. If one of his subordinates is killed, he must avenge him. Most of the cases are resolved by the subordinates themselves. Let me see for myself, do you have the ability to garrison this place? An incomparably majestic momentum pressed towards Murphy's body. Golden Lion. After coming to this world, this should be the most difficult opponent he has ever met. Advertisement although neither Zephyr, Garp, Sengoku nor Whitebeard Roger is weaker than Golden Lion. Only Golden Lion has an undisguised violent killing intent towards him. If it was before, being targeted by a monster like the Golden Lion could be said to be a dead end. I'm completely different now. Murphy raised his mouth slightly and looked at Golden Lion. How about the Golden Lion who can become the three great pirates with Whitebeard and Roger? Let him have a good look today. Boss, stop talking nonsense with this guy. Kill this guy quickly, or attack the marine branch, and the surrounding branches will come soon, and the hero Garp. That's right. Let's just kill this guy in two quick strokes. We won't be afraid when Garp comes, but we will also be caught in a hard fight. Soon, the Golden Lion's ship was buzzing. Although it is said that there is a Golden Lion in charge, Garp, the hero of the marine, is also not easy to mess with. In addition, this is a branch of the marine. Once the Golden Lion is dragged down, countless vice admirals will soon come to support. Although the captains on the Golden Lion ship were not weak, they seemed powerless to face so many marine vice admirals. And obviously, Golden Lion is also quite aware of this. Ha 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 ha. Golden Lion laughed wildly, staring at Murphy, and under the power of lion fruit, the boat under Golden Lion's feet also began to float. Boy, prepare to die in my hands today. Golden Lion opened his hands, and the two famous swords Sakura Ten and Muku appeared in his hands. The terrifying aura unique to the great swordsman was almost solidified, and Murphy immediately pulled out the Zanpakuto in his hand, aiming at the Golden Lion. 
Advertisement. Let me see it. The swordsmanship of the great pirate Golden Lion. I hope you won't let me down. Although hockey is not used, but with a layer of armor covered by Ryatsu, it is not lost to hockey in both attack and defense. In the next second, Murphy's figure disappeared instantly, and then directly attacked the Golden Lion. Before he had time to think about it, Golden Lion directly covered the famous sword in his hand with hockey, subconsciously crossing it in front of him. Boom! The Zanpakuto in Murphy's hand collided with the famous sword in Golden Lion's hand. The two refused to give in to each other, and the aftermath of the confrontation spread outward, sweeping in all directions. The sea directly under the feet of the two of them seemed to be torn apart from the middle by something. How is it possible? This guy actually has the fighting power to deal with me head on. Looking at the flashing sword light and the sword aura that kept flashing in front of him, Golden Lion's expression became extremely ugly. Instead of relying on tactics and resourcefulness, it's just the collision of pure and brutal forces. Just after the fight, Golden Lion has already felt that Murphy's strength is not weaker than his own. Obviously, he is obviously a kid who is less than 20 years old. This kid, Golden Lion's eyes were fixed on Murphy, and he wanted to say something, but he didn't know what to say for a while. But at this moment, Golden Lion's heart was completely unable to calm down. Advertisement when Murphy first went to see a year ago, how strong was he? For Golden Lion, maybe it's just a small character who can be crushed to death at will, and he doesn't even need to worry about it at all. It wasn't until the events of World Destroyer Waldo and the City of Sin that Murphy's name officially entered his eyes. And up to now, it was only a year before Murphy went to sea, and he already had the combat power to resist him, the three big pirates. In an unknown person, Golden Lion saw the rare to ultimate talent. It's impossible not to be jealous, not to mention being an enemy of the Golden Lion, even Kong and others are also jealous of Murphy's talent. The only difference is that after the extreme, these people want to cultivate Murphy with all their strength, while Golden Lion does. Anger, desire, and extreme madness flooded into my mind. Now he has only one thought, and that is to destroy Murphy in front of him. Die to lousy. Slash wave. Golden Lion was burning with rage, and his eyes became extraordinarily terrifying. He suddenly lifted the Muku in his hand, and then dropped it with a bang. Chapter 60 Wounding the Golden Lion Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 60 Wounding the Golden Lion It's really underestimated. Murphy took a half step back, with a deep disdainful smile in his eyes. Immediately afterwards, the same blue sword light shone. The fierce and powerful sword light burst out from the blade, centered on Murphy, and spread outward like a crescent moon. As well as its terrifying speed, it tore through the air and arrived in front of the golden lion in an instant. The dazzling blue sword aura completely filled his entire field of vision. This kid, seeing this scene, golden lion's pupils suddenly shrank, and he could clearly feel the severity of this slash. Seems to be able to tear right through his hockey defenses, and even his soul. Relying on instinct, at that moment, golden lion's whole body burst out with speed, and his body turned slightly to the side. Boom! The violent blue slash directly passed by his side, and the fierce and terrifying momentum made his body tense up instantly. Finally, the slash flew directly through the air, and blasted far into the distance. Boom! Advertisement accompanied by a loud bang, a pirate ship behind was cut neatly in the middle, and the fluctuations brought by the aftermath even spread to the entire sea surface, making the originally peaceful sea surface instantly become choppy. Hiss! Hiss! Hiss. The golden robe on Golden Lion's body was also torn apart under this force. There were streaks of blood even on the body, and the bloodline began to overflow from the surface of the skin, making Golden Lion look even bloodier. Although it was just a little bit of insignificant skin trauma, it still surprised Golden Lion. Is it just the aftermath that has this kind of power? This guy's slashing and destructive power is not so strong. To be honest, if it didn't happen to Golden Lion himself, he would never believe this kind of thing. Only Yu Bo has achieved this level, and it is obvious that he has opened a long distance. The destructive power of this kind of slash is simply unimaginable. And on the pirate ship in the rear, the whole ship has become a mess at this time. Countless corpses were randomly discarded on the ground in a disorderly manner, and some of them were even mutilated. 
The smell of blood was introduced into the nostrils of the living people along the sea breeze, and the pungent smell made them recover from the shock. Even the golden lion couldn't withstand the aftermath of the slash, let alone the ordinary pirates on these ships. Some even didn't have time to react at all, and were directly cut in the middle the moment the slash came, and the whole person was split in two from the middle. Advertisement even if one was lucky enough to avoid a direct slash, he would still be torn apart by the aftermath of the slash. There were still many people on the boat just now, and now there are less than one tenth of the people left. The trace of the incomparably ferocious sword energy. Gollum. Many pirates couldn't help swallowing, and looked at the white robed boy in front of them with some fear. The atmosphere on board was even more eerie. How is it possible? Even the boss of the Golden Lion has to avoid it. The remaining pirates said with a trembling voice, their throats a little dry. The strength shown by the opponent is really terrible. I thought that the newly appointed Marine Vice Admiral, who was less than 20 years old, in the G3 branch was a soft persimmon, but now it seems that this is not the case. Even the Golden Lion had to avoid the edge, this strength is probably very close to the hero Garp guarding the G1 branch. They don't know what the final outcome of the battle will be, but what is certain is that the life and death of cannon fodder like pirates like them depends entirely on luck. The extremely fierce slash just now is the best evidence. If they were unlucky, they would be the ones lying on the ground now, without any choice. The boss of Golden Lion seems to have been injured by the aftermath of the sword energy. Damn it. Are we actually going to fight this kind of monster? Seeing the Golden Lion covered in blood, the pirates felt even more terrified. Advertisement Golden Lion is their biggest reliance. Even Golden Lion is injured, even if it is only a little bit of skin trauma, but it is quite a bad thing for them. Is this guy really just a fresh graduate? He can't be an old monster who uses some strange devil fruit ability to rejuvenate his youth. Many people began to question Murphy's identity, and it was so unreasonable that they couldn't help but happen in front of them. Did you avoid it? You really deserve to be the Golden Lion? Looking at the tragic image in front of him and the unstoppable sea, Murphy slightly raised the corners of his mouth. Are you on the same level as me? Golden Lion's eyes widened, and his bloodshot face was particularly ferocious. Coupled with the bloody appearance, the whole person seems to be as terrifying as a ghost crawling out of hell. But, I'll let you know that even among the same level, there are strengths and weaknesses, if you don't wipe out a marine genius like you, there will be endless troubles. Even if Garp comes, I will definitely kill you today, Golden Lion's undisguised killing intent raged majestically. Boom. Suddenly, a huge pirate ship that was directly cut by Murphy violated the law of gravity and flew directly into the sky, and less than 10% of the remaining pirates on the ship all fell into the sea. There are also many fragments of things on the ship that fell in all directions, killing many pirates directly. But Golden Lion didn't care about these casualties at all, and now he only has Murphy in his eyes. As long as Murphy is killed, it will be worth everything. Chapter 61 Blocking the Golden Lion Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 61 Blocking the Golden Lion Lion Fruit's Ability Can't Help It Already? Murphy narrowed his eyes. Naturally, he couldn't be clear about Golden Lion Lion Fruit's ability. The reason why Golden Lion is said to be the most difficult to deal with among the three great pirates is because of this ability. Erratic in the air, it can be said that no one can capture him. It is extremely difficult even for the world government to grasp the Golden Lion's movements. Die to Lousy. Golden Lion swung his arm from top to bottom, and the next second, the pirate ship floating in the sky crashed down. Boom. Accompanied by loud noises, the ear piercing voice lingered. Damn it! The Golden Lion will destroy the entire port directly. Seeing the pirate ship controlled by the May 27th, directly smashed down by the Golden Lion, the vice admirals below also changed their faces all of a sudden. Although they are in the middle, it is almost impossible to prevent this level of destruction. If the Golden Lion were allowed to behave like this, I'm afraid the entire marine branch would be beaten to pieces. At this point, all they can do is pin all their hopes on Murphy, who just fought Golden Lion back and forth. But Murphy was naturally not clear about the gazes of the people below. He just took two steps forward silently, stretched out his right index finger and began to chant. Heaven's proud son, a city wall made of iron, advertisement. The dragon walks, the lion roars, who shall, the wolf runs, 
cut off the world before it collapses. 81 of Bakudo splitting void, the voice fell, and the space in front of Murphy began to distort. Immediately afterwards, a transparent mirror appeared in front of him, although it looked a bit ordinary, Murphy's calm appearance seemed to give people an unbreakable feeling, as if standing behind him would not anything can happen. In the next second, the huge pirate ship in the sky smashed straight down, and the strong wind seemed to blow everything away. Soon, the gigantic pirate ship directly hit the splitting void's protection. Boom 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 boom. Immediately, one after another terrible explosion sounded. The huge force collided with the light curtain of splitting void, making a sound like high explosives exploding, and sparks visible to the naked eye rubbed out at the contact between the hull and the light curtain, just like flint and steel rubbing against the ground. The powerful shock wave even caused many pirates and marines to be blown away, and the berserk force raged wildly. Under the intersection, the sea surface has completely shown a void. Even the sea kings below were torn apart, and the corner of the sea was stained red with blood. Although the port was not directly damaged, it was still in a state of distress as if it had been hit by an earthquake and typhoon, and it was hard to bear to look directly at it. After the falling force dissipated, the entire pirate ship fell directly to the bottom of the sea. But the thin light curtain in front of Murphy remained unchanged. Not even the slightest crack appeared. Advertisement. Great. Murphy Vice Admiral blocked. Seeing that Murphy directly blocked the Golden Lion's attack, the Marines below were extremely excited. Golden Lion's devil fruit abilities are directly blocked, so they don't have to be afraid of anything. On the other side, the pirates completely changed their faces. The attack of the captain they were proud of was actually stopped by a mere rookie who was less than 20 years old. And judging by Murphy's appearance, it seems that he still has quite a lot of history. Of course, this only seems to have spare power. In fact, he had just resisted Golden Lion's lion fruit ability, and Murphy could feel that his arm that released Splitting Void was still trembling slightly. The entire arm has endured quite a terrifying force. Sure enough, it's not wise to go head to head, but there's nothing you can do about it. Withdrawing his right hand, Murphy smiled. If possible, he can dodge this attack with a single shunpo. But at this time, he still needs the support of the G3 branch, especially the Hogyoku and Hollow experiments that are very important to him underground in the G3 branch. If the Golden Lion were to directly smash down the pirate ship, then it would be even more troublesome. What's more, Taking this trick hard will also increase his prestige in this marine branch, so that he can better control this marine branch. However, this is the only boat you can throw, advertisement. A shunpo, moved directly in front of the golden lion. What, what a fast pace. Seeing the magnified figure in front of him, golden lion's eyes widened suddenly, and at the same time, the other famous sword soccer at 10 in his hand swung directly at the figure in front of him and at the same time, he backed away to distance himself. However, Murphy stretched out his hand easily for Sakura Ten's slash, grabbed Ryatsu directly, and crushed the sword energy with his bare hands. You actually gave my sword energy too. Seeing this scene, Golden Lion looked at Murphy in disbelief. Receiving his sword energy with bare hands, even Whitebeard dared not do so. Of course, this is actually not difficult for Murphy, whether it is slashing or unarmed his fighting level itself depends on his Ryatsu strength. If you can block it with a slash, you can also block it with your hands. Why do you want to back off? If you want to kill me, shouldn't you close the distance, Golden Lion? Murphy looked at Golden Lion lightly, without any change in his face, and walked forward step by step 3.1. Aizen's 20% power is indeed at the same level as the world's top combat power. But, the same level does not mean the same combat power, even at the same level, there are also strengths and weaknesses. And there is no doubt that with the power of Aizen, he is the top existence at this level. Chapter 62 Hado 91 Senju Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 62 Hado 91 Senju If you dare not approach, then let me come. A light touch of air with his right foot, and in the next second, Murphy shot directly in the direction of the Golden Lion at an extremely fast speed. Bang! 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 When the two confronted each other, they could only hear deafening bombardment sounds, and everything around them was torn apart under the fighting between the two. The pirates and the marines stared blankly at the close-range confrontation between the two, and their eyes almost couldn't turn around. 
Too fast. Murphy is way ahead of Golden Lion in speed. Shunpo's speed is no slower than Golden Lion flying in the air with lion fruit, and it can even be said to be terrifyingly fast. Golden Lion can only use its observation hockey to predict Murphy's attack trajectory in advance, and then resist it. Damn it! To be beaten on the head by such a brat, being constantly attacked by Murphy, Golden Lion also seemed a little upset. It was obvious that he came here to provoke him, but now he can't beat the opponent 12. Golden Lion, one of the three great pirates, can't beat a freshly graduated kid, it's ridiculous to say this. But soon Golden Lion discovered a problem, his proud air combat ability seemed to become his weakness in front of Murphy. Normally, when using Lion Fruit, the enemy can only fight with him through Moonwalk, not to mention the exhaustion of physical strength, and it is also quite inconvenient. Advertisement but at this time, compared to Shunpo used by Murphy, his Lion Fruit ability made him fall to the waist in this air battle. Thinking of this, Golden Lion pushed Murphy away without saying a word, and then landed on the ground very quickly. Both feet stepped on the ground with a bang, and the ground of the port collapsed instantly, and the huge force spread out tens of meters. Want to entice me to fight on the ground? Interesting idea, but, strong is always strong, no matter where you stand. Regarding Golden Lion's approach, Murphy is not so stupid as to give up the airspace advantage directly. Neither Slash White hits nor Keto are weak at all. I don't know how to use a sword. Facing the Golden Lion, Murphy still had a calm expression on his face, his deep eyes drooping slightly. Facing the Golden Lion that had already reached the ground, Murphy slowly raised his hand and began to chant softly. The Edge of Senju, the noble hand that can't touch the darkness, the sky shooter that can't be reflected, the road where the light shines, fan the wind of the fire, gather together without being confused, follow my instructions. Light bullets, eight bodies, nine articles, heavenly scriptures, diseased treasures, big wheels, gray turrets, bowed to the distance, and dissipated away brightly. Hato's 91 Senju Jiao Tian Duan Pao. As the voice fell, the next moment, everyone was attracted by the countless blazing white light balls in the sky. Obviously still get rid of it, but it suddenly makes people feel like a flash of starlight. But soon, they understood what the starlight-like thing they saw was exactly. Whoosh whoosh. Countless white beams of light appeared behind Murphy. Advertisement in the next second. All the beams of light turned into meteors and flew across at high speed, aiming directly at the golden lion not far in front of them and bombarding them. Boom, in an instant, the entire ground seemed to be crazily cleaned by bombers. Countless light beams hit the ground directly. Accompanied by the terrible bombing sound and violent flames, the sky was filled with scorched black smoke and dust, crumbs. And the golden lion below is covered with armament hockey all over his body, covering his eyes with his clothes. The forehead of the veined arm can be seen the solemnity he thought of at this time. Bang! I saw that the port closest to the sea that Golden Lion was stepping on suddenly collapsed, flowing down into the sea like a landslide. Because of the battle between the two, even the periphery of the port has collapsed. Murphy stood high in the sky, letting the sea breeze blow his white hair, and from the corner of his eye, he looked at Golden Lion, and murmured softly. Golden Lion, is it only this level? the so-called three-day sea thief. He didn't even use Kyoka Suigetsu yet, but simply used Ryatsu and Kido to make Golden Lion, one of the so-called three great pirates, look like this. The moment the words fell suddenly, out of the smoke. Hum. A terrible loud noise suddenly sounded here. Boom, 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 suddenly, countless dense and loud sounds came from among the smoke and dust. Advertisement. Lion Majesty. Earth Coiling. That's the sound of the ground shaking. Earth shakes it seems that there is a huge and terrifying beast on this land that is about to unseal and break out of the ground. The smoke will dissipate soon what immediately appeared in front of Murphy was a completely changed landform. On the small island where the G2033 branch is located, the uplifted highlands continued to gather together, forming the appearance of three huge lion heads. Roar. Like a living lion, a huge roar erupted from the mouths of the three lions, forming a very strong shockwave and airwaves that over voltage towards them. Seeing this scene, Murphy's eyes narrowed slightly, and the smile on the corners of his mouth slowly narrowed, replaced by a cautious expression. Have you finally become serious? The captain of the flying pirates, the great pirate Golden Lion? 
After all, he is also known as the figure of the three great pirates. Naturally, it is impossible for Golden Lion to be eliminated so easily. The battle just now was just a preliminary test for Golden Lion. And now, this is the true strength of the three great pirates, the Golden Lion. Chapter 63 The Decisive Difference Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 63 The Decisive Difference Boom! The huge lion slammed its arms down to the ground not far from Murphy's face. The towering gigantic figure looked particularly terrifying. But the other party didn't stretch out his paw directly to Murphy, but landed right in front of him. Demonstration Apparently, this golden lion flexed his muscles for Murphy, for his provocative demonstrations. And Murphy can clearly perceive this, so he turned his attention to the golden lion himself. It's just a bluff, golden lion, which only highlights your weakness. To golden lion, Murphy mocked mercilessly. Little devil, I hope your strength is as powerful as your mouth. The inarticulate golden lion was stunned by Murphy and could hardly find any words to refute. However, Golden Lion, who has always regarded strength as his greatest weapon, does not need to rely on language at all. All he needs is to use his own strength to crush the enemy, that's all. Go! Following the Golden Lion's command, the huge three-headed lion directly waved its enormous palm, and slapped down on Murphy in the air. If the palm with a length of several tens of meters was an ordinary person, it would be impossible to escape its attack range, but for Murphy it was a piece of cake. Advertisement at this time, Murphy's figure suddenly disappeared into the air, leaving no trace of Yifu. And Golden Lion has also experienced the horror of Murphy's speed, and his face is extraordinarily cautious, releasing his observation hockey to search for Murphy's trace. Where, suddenly, Golden Lion found Murphy's trail. Looking up, I saw Murphy standing on top of the lion's head in the middle of the huge monster. Every step the huge lion takes can set off bursts of hurricanes, blowing away the large robes on its body and whistling. Bakudo number 63. Lock bar lock, tied, an extremely peaceful voice resounded in the air, and fell lightly to the ground. Immediately afterwards, countless chains came out of nowhere and wrapped around the huge lion's body. Boom! Entangled by countless chains, the huge lion fell down in an instant. It's not okay for such a huge monster to mess around in our G3 branch. It looks like it needs to be resolved soon. It seemed that Murphy also felt a bit of a headache when he saw the golden lion. If his unlocking level is higher, it will be fine. Although he can suppress the golden lion at this stage, there is no way to completely prevent the golden lion from destroying it. Compared with the 5% experience points on golden lion, Murphy valued the Hogyoku fragments and hollow experiments under the G3 branch more. Advertisement in addition, this level of identity in Marine also brought him a lot of convenience, making it easier for him to obtain some materials and resources for experiments. After all, the huge system of Marine is quite scary to use. In just a few days since he took office, the progress of his hollow experiment has accelerated a lot. Sure enough, Kyoka Suigetsu's strength is still necessary it's impossible to hold back against the golden lion. Thinking of this, Murphy also made a decision. If possible, he still wants to avoid using Kyoka Suigetsu's power in an open and above board situation as much as possible. Kyoka Suigetsu's complete hypnosis power is indeed terrifying, but if it is known, it will be a little troublesome. And the more you use it, the more likely you are to be exposed. But now is not the time to think about such things. Without using the power of Kyoka Suigetsu, it is impossible to easily repel the golden lion. After all, this guy is a monster who can destroy half of Marineford in a three-day and three-night battle with Garp and Sengoku. Look away Murphy fixed his gaze on the golden lion with a gloomy expression. He could feel that the golden lion really planned to fight him forever, and it took only so long to face him, the ultimate marine genius, and he had grown to the point where he could fight against him. Golden Lion didn't want to, and didn't dare to let Murphy continue to grow. Therefore, Golden Lion has already made a plan. Today, Murphy must be wiped out, even if it means sacrificing his own life right now. Because he wants to realize his hegemony of conquering the world, then Murphy will be his biggest obstacle. If he doesn't kill him today, he will have no chance in the future. If he can't realize his hegemony, then Golden Lion would rather die on this road. Advertisement so from the moment he saw Murphy's potential, he was determined to fight to the death. 
I have to say that a hero like Golden Lion is still worthy of admiration. Just this point alone, I'm afraid not many people can do this, right? Being able to put his life on this road, it is no wonder that Golden Lion can achieve such an achievement. But, from Murphy's point of view, that's all. What Golden Lion pursues is hegemony, domination, and power. But for Murphy, all these are just tools for him to reach his goal. His goal is very simple, that is absolute power. Possessing absolute power, whether it is hegemony or power, he will appear in front of him by himself. Giving his life for his own, Nuoma Zhao, domineering may be lamentable, but in Murphy's view it is still extremely stupid. Golden Lion. Let me show you the decisive difference between me and you. Boom. An unimaginably huge Ryatsu was completely released from Murphy's body, and the blue Ryatsu visible to the naked eye was almost solidified, pressing everyone present to the ground indiscriminately. 30% Chapter 64 Break It Apart. Kyoka Suigetsu. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 64 Shatter. Kyoka Suigetsu. Everyone present, except for Marine Vice Admiral and the captains of the Golden Lion Pirates, all of them were unable to keep standing under this Ryatsu, especially the people of the Golden Lion Pirates who were closer to the direction of Murphy, so the pressure is even more terrifying. What is this? I can't move at all, and there is no way to shoot him. How is it possible, am I actually afraid of him? Looking in Murphy's direction, the captains of the Golden Lion Pirates showed incredible expressions. Just unleashing all the Ryatsu, they couldn't get close at all, and couldn't help but want to fall to their knees. Golden Lion, your understanding of power and my understanding of power are not at the same level. Murphy calmly pulled out the Kyoka Suigetsu from his hand, hung it upside down in front of him, and placed it where the Golden Lion was staring straight at him. Don't blink, it's just a moment. Pretending to be a ghost, let me see what else you can do. Advertisement Golden Lion snorted coldly, not paying too much attention to anything. From 60's point of view, Murphy has no choice but to prepare some moves. But what Golden Lion doesn't know is that from the moment he meets Kyoka Suigetsu, his fate has been completely sealed. Seeing the totally defenseless look of Golden Lion, Murphy chuckled and said, Small, Kyoka Suigetsu. As if a mirror was gently shattered, the blue Ryatsu seemed to form a mist and began to entangle. In the eyes of the outside world, Murphy just raised the Zanpakuto in his hand and said something, and did not do anything superfluous. However, from the perspective of Golden Lion, it is completely different. Golden Lion only felt his own world's communication address suddenly, and then he suddenly appeared in an unknown blood-colored space, and he himself was directly nailed to a cross. What is this place? My strength and ability. Golden Lion just wanted to break free from the shackles on the cross, but suddenly found that there was no way to break free from the seemingly ordinary shackles. It's not because the restraint is too strong, but because all the strength in his body has disappeared. Physical strength, hockey, devil fruit ability, everything is lost here. He directly became an extremely weak ordinary person. This is a fantasy world created by me. In this world, I will control both time and space. In this illusion world, no matter how long it has passed, it is only a moment in the outside world. Illusionary world. Hearing what Murphy said, Golden Lion could feel something bad, but couldn't tell what kind of feeling it was. Advertisement. Maybe it's acceptable for you here, but it's not necessarily the case outside. Can you bear the mental pressure for a whole year here? Golden Lion. For a second, the whole world was plunged into complete darkness. But Golden Lion was completely deprived of everything, his ability to move and even his ability to speak was completely deprived. The five senses have been completely wiped out, leaving only his brain which can continue to function. And everything in the outside world has completely turned into darkness, falling into endless peace. This is Murphy's creation based on Tsukuyomi in the world of Hokage, but it is far beyond the illusion space of Tsukuyomi's power. The first is time. With the power of Kyoka Suigetsu, he is able to maintain the world he created for a full ten years. And he will not constantly let the other party experience pain and death like Uchi, BCAC, Wave Itachi. Because this kind of thing will be blocked by the brain after all, if your pain has exceeded the limit of tolerance, then the brain will order itself to forcibly ignore the pain. Most of the people who can resist Tsukuyomi are through this self-protection mechanism of the brain. 
But Murphy's approach seems to be quite different. Absolutely dark space, absolute silence, unable to obtain everything from the outside world, even one's own arms and feet cannot feel. The whole person seems to be left with a head that can continue to function. And the golden lion, who lost all sensory organs, could not control his own body, and was tied up like a doll, motionless. Golden Lion really wanted to open his eyes, really wanted to wave his arms, really wanted to roar out loudly. But unfortunately, he couldn't do it at all. Advertisement. Facing the absolutely silent darkness, Golden Lion was completely plunged into fear. Maybe someone is not afraid of death, but it is impossible for someone not to be afraid of this feeling of fear, darkness and loneliness stuck together. For an ordinary person, being able to persist in this situation for a day is considered to be quite strong in mental strength. And the golden lion is going to stay in this place for up to a year. In this space, he can feel that time is becoming extremely slow every second, and he even forgets the loss of time. He has only one brain that can be used, from the initial panic, and then further hallucinations, and finally even the working mechanism of the brain began to appear confusion and errors. The willpower is lax, the thinking becomes dull, the brain begins to make various mistakes, and various strange hallucinations occur. The perception of time has also become blurred, a day, a month, or a year, Golden Lion has no way to tell how long has passed. But one thing is certain, he doesn't want to stay here for a second. However, it was actually less than a week before he had such a desperate thought. One week, two weeks, one month, two months. Until a whole year has passed chapter 65 experimental materials. Previous chapter next chapter advertisement chapter 65 test materials. While in the real world next second I saw that the golden lion, who was still fighting high, suddenly rolled his eyes, lost all his strength and fell directly to the ground. Did the one year illusion world directly make you completely collapse? But it's also expected. Seeing golden lion fall directly, Murphy didn't feel any surprise. Unless the ability is extremely special, as long as you hit Kyoka Suigetsu, it is a game of death. And Golden Lion obviously didn't know Kyoka Suigetsu's ability, so he fell for this trick very easily. No matter how powerful they are, the Golden Lions are still human beings after all, subject to birth, old age, sickness, death, and mental breakdown. The lifespan is only a hundred years. A whole year in the dark world is enough to make any person with a strong mind collapse immediately. Even the golden lion as a hero is the same. People with endless lives may be able to endure this long period of loneliness. And Murphy didn't stop there, and in the next second, he teleported directly to the side of golden lion, and the zanpakuto in his hand suddenly passed across golden lion's chest. Puff, fresh blood immediately splattered in this space. The pungent smell of blood is shocking. Everyone's eyes widened, looking at the scene in front of them in disbelief. Advertisement Golden Lion. The Golden Lion who ruled the roost and gave Marine a headache. Now, he was actually beheaded by a boy who was just starting out in Marine. The huge bloodstain on the Golden Lion's abdomen and the blood still gushing out mercilessly told them this fact. Everyone was stunned. The Golden Lion who was clearly ready to kill all directions just now and the golden lion who was clearly not completely at a disadvantage, was easily beheaded by Murphy without any resistance in the next instant. Not to mention the pirates, even Marine was speechless for a while. The battle situation was changing so fast that they couldn't even react. Is it the sword in the guy's hand just now? I saw that the guy seemed to say something to the sword just now, and the boss passed out directly. Could it be that you can't look directly at the sword in that guy's hand? Will you fall into a coma if you see it? But we seem to be fine. I have a guess, that guy's ability must only be used on one person looking at the sword over there, otherwise we should all die. Damn. I've never heard of this kind of information before, he didn't use this ability during the fierce battle with World Destroyer. Could it be a new ability learned during this period? This guy is really weird. It hasn't been long before he has developed such a sure fire nirvana. If the Golden Lion boss can know this information in advance, he will definitely win against this kid. The pirates under Golden Lion who were still able to move began to discuss unhappily. They also saw the scene where Golden Lion and Murphy fought just now. Although Golden Lion's attack was resolved, Golden Lion did not fall into a big disadvantage. 
Advertisement but now he was instantly killed in an instant, completely because he didn't know the information about this ability. Murphy Vice Admiral. Do you already have the strength to fight and defeat this kind of big pirate? Not to mention guarding our G3 branch, even guarding an important place like the G1 branch is no problem. And Marine is naturally quite happy. One's own boss has such a powerful force, and their right to speak will naturally increase a lot. In just one year, the growth from an ordinary New World rookie who just went to sea to the present situation, if I didn't see it with my own eyes, it is indeed a bit unimaginable. Genius? Indeed, many people are endowed with extraordinary talents. Others need to practice hundreds of times, and some people can learn it in just a moment. But, they have never heard of anyone who can go directly from a rookie who just entered the new world to the existence of monsters like defeating the three big pirates in such a short period of time. They heard that Murphy has the combat power of Marine Admiral's backup before, and they already felt that it was quite exaggerated. And the gap between Marine Admiral's backup and Marine Admiral's is no less than the difficulty of growing from an ordinary person to Admiral's backup. Many people even think that all this is fake, it's even better to believe that Murphy was hiding before than to believe that he has such a terrible growth rate. This makes people doubt that the degree of genius at the level of life is really unimaginable. Advertisement of course, it is indeed a coincidence that Heifei has the current strength. After having Admiral's backup combat power, he can find very few valuable experience characters, basically they are the teammates of Blackbeard in the later Summit War period. And the 15% unlocking level can't beat the three big pirates and the masters of Marine Admiral's level. According to the budget, it will take at least two years for Murphy to slowly increase his experience points to the current level. But, due to the previous battle with Zephyr, Zephyr's ability to suppress himself was defeated by Murphy. Coupled with the system's evaluation criteria, it was as if he caught a loophole and instantly gained 5% experience points. In one breath, he broke through to the same level as Marine Admiral's three big pirates. But Murphy didn't care what other people thought. Instead, he set his sights on the Golden Lion who had already collapsed in front of him. Different from other people's perspectives, the Golden Lion seen by others is a Golden Lion whose entire chest has been cut open and has been fatally wounded. In Murphy's eyes, the Golden Lion was just lying on the ground at this time, without any harm. After all, this is very important experimental material for Murphy, how could it be destroyed so easily? Chapter 66. The Fearful Golden Lion Previous Chapter Next Chapter. Advertisement Chapter 66. The Golden Lion of Fear. And now all they see is Murphy manipulating their senses with Kyoka Suigetsu to make them see the horrors of the Golden Lion. Exactly, let's kill all these guys. After getting the material of Golden Lion, Murphy has no interest in other people under the Golden Lion Pirate Group for the time being. After all, what he has is limited, and it is impossible to conduct unlimited hollow experiments. To create Hogyoku fragments, you also need to collect a lot of souls. Thinking of this, Murphy gently raised his palm across the sea, aiming at the pirates in the distance who were oppressed by his own Ryatsu, and made an indifferent sound from the corner of his mouth. Hado no 90 Black Coffin. With 863, Murphy's words fell gently, the breeze blew past slightly, and the huge black barrier directly included the huge and incomparably huge pirate ship under the Golden Lion. ZZT the sound of sharp blades piercing the body and the deck of the ship. Advertisement creepy screams resounded from within Black Coffin. However, the screams didn't last long, and soon the sound calmed down. And when the black enchantment dissipated, what was left was a miserable scene. At the same time, the huge Ryatsu scattered in this area also completely dissipated, and the people on the marine side also had recovery power. Everyone, please deal with the remnants of the Golden Lion Pirates. The headquarters and I will contact the Golden Lion. After finishing speaking, Murphy directly grabbed the corpse of the Golden Lion and walked back to the inside of the marine base. A group of dumbfounded marines were left behind. And, the corpses were scattered all over the place the creepy corpses discarded in the sea in a disorderly manner. No less than a thousand people died under one black coffin. Among them, even the cadres of the Golden Lion Pirates, the big pirates with a bounty of over 200 million. This kind of big pirate who is well known anywhere, is now just casually abandoned on the sea, and died miserably and without dignity. Even as a marine, many people feel a little embarrassed after seeing it. 
no one can reach his killing at all. Of course, they only sighed for a few seconds, and soon began to recover the corpses and check if there were any pirates who survived. Advertisement without Golden Lion, the rest of these people also ate a black coffin from Murphy, which is more than enough for the rest of Vice Admiral and Marine soldiers. As for Murphy, he took the Golden Lion's body and walked towards the lowest level of the prison. Boom! Golden Lion's body was dropped directly on the ground very casually. It's almost time to pretend to be asleep. To be honest, I didn't expect you to wake up so quickly. Murphy glanced at the Golden Lion who was thrown on the ground lightly and said very casually. Although Golden Lion had already woken up, due to the severe impact on his brain, he couldn't control his body for a while. Like a vegetable who has been lying on the bed for a long time, the control over the body has reached the lowest level, without a month's rest, Golden Lion may not be able to regain control over his body. Have you been discovered? What did you want to do by bringing me here instead of killing me? Golden Lion reluctantly moved his eyelids, opened his eyes with great difficulty, and the look of hockey who was invincible before was no longer in his eyes. The whole person has been ravaged by Kyoka Suigetsu's illusion world for a whole year, and the Golden Lion at this time has looked extraordinarily miserable. And they seem to have misunderstood you. Your ability is not just for me, but for everyone who saw the scene just now. Golden Lion said with some seriousness. But Murphy didn't answer Golden Lion's question. Of course, the two already knew it well. If you wanted to kill me, you should have done it just now. Did you not kill me because I still have value? Advertisement. That's right, I need you to complete a certain experiment. After finishing speaking, Murphy smiled slightly, and then took out a blue sphere from his pocket. Due to different souls, the final Hogyoku is not the same. The last Hogyoku used was black and blue, but the piece of Hogyoku in Murphy's hand is now blue. It also exudes a fascinating mysterious light. Recover your body first. After finishing speaking, the Hogyoku in Murphy's hand seemed to be driven by something, and directly projected a force into the Golden Lion's body. Accompanied by the injection of this force, in an instant, Golden Lion could feel that his consciousness slowly began to recover, and his control over his body became stronger and stronger. What? Golden Lion's face was quite shocked. His mental injury recovered so quickly. It would be fine if it was a physical injury, but such damage to the brain can also be repaired quickly, which is really amazing. People feel unbelievable. If you want to resist, I will show you the power of darkness again. By the way, as long as you have seen the power of Kyoka Suigetsu, you will always be under my control. If you don't believe me, you may try give it a try. Hearing this, Golden Lion also fell into silence. To be honest, this was the first time he felt fear. He was not even afraid of death, and he didn't dare to recall the year in the fantasy world again. And you must know that this is only a second in the outside world. Is your ability an illusion? Completely control all my senses. Golden Lion chuckled twice, looking a little weak. 1%. Chapter 67 Success Hollow. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Chapter 67 Success Hollow. That terrible state even made him want to commit suicide. I see, what do you want me to do? Golden Lion asked a little decadently and Murphy stretched out his arm to change the number, and showed the round sapphire in front of Golden Lion. This thing is called a fragment of Hogyoku, which can give you extremely powerful power. Of course, if your potential is not enough, you will become a monster without reason. But compared to you, one of the three great pirates, you should not worse than that guy in there. With that said, Murphy pointed to the monster at the bottom. Feed a lot of souls to the guy below, but it is still far from evolution. Of course, if you are the same as the guy below, I will not waste time continuing to feed souls to either of you, but let the two of you devour each other, and then feed the souls of the surviving twelve parties. Yes, that's what Murphy thinks from the bottom of his heart. He doesn't want to spend time feeding both at the same time, it's easy to spot the problem. With his current power and his control over the branch, it is not a big deal to conceal the disappearance of certain prisoners in the prison every day, but it would be not so good if there are too many disappearances. Even if he has completely controlled the G3 branch, Murphy still needs to pay attention to some influences. Advertisement. Feeding the soul, and you don't seem to be lying, it could be that those guys from naval headquarters. 
Golden Lion looked at Murphy in surprise. Firstly, he didn't expect that Murphy would tell him the matter without hesitation, and secondly, he was surprised that Murphy secretly carried out this kind of experiment in private. We must know that the current Murphy is the future star of Marine, and even the position of Marine Marshal has to be booked in advance. However, it is unbelievable that such an experiment was carried out without telling the Marine side. Do you think Marine will believe what you say? Or do you think you can escape my control? Murphy glanced at Golden Lion lightly, and he told Golden Lion that these things naturally have their own considerations. His training of members like Espada is not simply considered as a combat force, but has a more far-reaching layout. Not only for researching Hogyoku and Hollow, but also for certain plans that the Marine side should not know about. HMPH. I really didn't expect that the guy appointed as the next Marshal of the Marine would have such thoughts. Although the heroic Golden Lion has lost a lot of vigor in the torture just now, he can clearly feel that the Murphy in front of him is probably the same kind of person as himself, even more terrifying than himself. Golden Lion, instead of worrying about me, it's better to worry about whether you can maintain your sanity. After speaking, Murphy pressed the Hogyoku in his hand directly towards the Golden Lion's heart. Ah 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 ah. Hogyoku had just been sent into Golden Lion's body, and Golden Lion fell to his knees on the ground, screaming in pain. At the same time, a strand of Golden Reiatsu began to surge slowly behind Golden Lion. Advertisement. Really, the level of hollow has a lot to do with the user's innate power. Is it already close to the Vasto Lord level? But it seems to have stopped at the Ajuka's level. As Hollow's speed became faster and faster, the Reiatsu in Golden Lion's body slowly began to stabilize. In the end, it stabilized at the peak of the Ajuka's level, and was only one step away from stepping into the Mainos Grande of the Vasto Lord level. After all, it is directly using the Hogyoku fragments to force the Hollow, and it is impossible to step into the highest level Mainos Grande in one step. However, with the Golden Lion's aptitude, it is not difficult to step into this level. Damn. What the hell is this? Golden Lion endured the pain in his body and looked at Murphy with some indignation, hoping to get a reasonable answer from Murphy. And Murphy snorted softly and replied. Hollow, after you succeed, you can become stronger by devouring souls, and you will have eternal life and stronger power. Hollow. Don't be nervous, it's just Hogyoku responding to you, making you stronger. Murphy slightly raised the corners of his mouth. Of course, he also moved a little bit, so Hollow just started it so easily. Soon, cracks began to appear on the outer bones of the golden lion's face, and then began to slowly shatter. Boom. Half of the white bone was directly shattered, leaving only a general mask-like thing. At this time, the bones on golden lion's body also slowly dissipated, turning into spirit particles and entering his body. Advertisement. This. After regaining his composure, Golden Lion slowly stood up. As this the so-called Hollow's power? He clenched his fist tightly, and could feel an explosive power in his body that could be used. That's a whole new power that's completely different from hockey. As this shoe, I see, this is the power you had when you fought with me. Feeling the power in his body, Golden Lion couldn't help wanting to squander this huge power. He can feel that the current self is more than one level stronger than before. If it is singled out, whether it is Whitebeard or Roger, he has the confidence to easily defeat them. Unless the two join forces together, there is no chance at all. Even, he set his eyes on Murphy. However, the moment he looked at the past, Golden Lion was completely stunned. You. Dot you have become stronger again. Chapter 68. The Preliminary Form of the Hunter's Guild. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Chapter 68. The preliminary form of the Hunter's Guild. The moment Golden Lion looked at Murphy, his entire expression changed completely. Murphy turned out to be stronger again. That's right, the 5% experience gained from just defeating the Golden Lion made him stronger again. Now his unlock template is up to 25%. If it were now, Kyoka Suigetsu would not be needed to defeat the previous Golden Lion and Kefe could guarantee to defeat the marine base without destroying it. This speed of change in strength can be said to be quite unbelievable. Do you want to betray so soon? But even if you become stronger, you are still under the control of my Kyokusuigetsu, do you think I will create an existence that you can't control? 
Murphy looked Golden Lion, shook his head and said. He will use Hogyoku for Golden Lion. Naturally there is a way to control Golden Lion. Not to mention Kyoka Suigetsu, the device in his hand, can directly vaporize and melt the Golden Lion's body within 10 seconds through the fragments of Hogyoku. What's more, the current Golden Lion has fallen into the King of Kyoka Suigetsu's control. Even Yobox omniscience would be interfered with by Kyoka Suigetsu, let alone Golden Lion. Advertisement. Even if you think about it, there is no way in this world to undo Kyoka Suigetsu. Unless you touch his blade before receiving Kyoka Suigetsu. But, those who have fallen into Kyoka Suigetsu naturally have no chance of touching his blade. No, with that feeling, I don't want to try it a second time. Golden Lion lowered his head, not daring to look directly into his eyes. But the moment he lowered his head, Golden Lion's eyes were filled with endless anger. Now Golden Lion has no way to get rid of Murphy's control for the time being, but he will accumulate his strength and wait until one day he stabs Murphy directly in the back. But now, he only needs to play an obedient role. This point, Golden Lion is very clear, he also can endure this kind of humiliation. However, the Golden Lion understands, as well. In terms of resourcefulness, none of the ten Golden Lions can match him. How can someone who can calculate the entire soul society not be able to see through the thoughts of the Golden Lion? However, what he wants is for Golden Lion to develop by itself, to absorb power by itself to strengthen Hogyoku. Because a person's power is always limited, give Hogyoku to these guys with strong ambitions and let them gain power instead of themselves. After all, it is an incomplete version of the Hogyoku fragment, which does not have the power to allow people to break through realms without limit, and is also subject to the control of Murphy, who only needs to press a button. Advertisement. You can easily separate the user from Hogyoku directly, and set up the user. To Murphy, these people are nothing more than the tools he uses to grow the Hogyoku shards. As for how long this tool will be used, it depends on the value of the other party. Now you look like even your former subordinates can't recognize you. From today onwards, you are no longer the captain of the Flying Pirates, the Golden Lion, but the no-one Golden Lion in the Espada of the Arankar Legion already. Yes, Golden Lion replied quickly, but he felt a little puzzled in his heart. No one. That means there's only one guy like him under Murphy now. But, which monster below? Soon, Golden Lion already guessed what was going on. The reason why he is N0.1 is because the guy below is still in a state of irrationality, so it is not included in the ranking for the time being. Of course, Murphy himself didn't have much interest in the arrangement of the Arankar army, nor did he arrange them based on killing ability or death attribute. It's just that they simply think that these people have the strength to enter this ranking, so they are arranged according to the order of joining. And Golden Lion is the first to enter this ranking with strength, so it is N0.1. There is no other special meaning in it. Advertisement. Go to the Sabayati Archipelago to establish a hunter's guild, and integrate a group of bounty hunters who want to go to sea but don't want to be hunted down by marines. With your ability, it should be very simple. Of course, I will find some people to help you in the future, at least guys at the same level as you. Murphy directed to the Golden Lion. Although it has lost its reputation, the current Golden Lion has stronger strength and a brand new appearance. It is not a big problem to reorganize a stronger organization than before. What's more, Murphy will continue to add new monsters of the same level as Golden Lion to guard this hunter organization in the future. Hunters Guild, do you want to integrate the pirate hunters to form a third-party force? Hearing that Murphy wanted to do this, Golden Lion was instinctively disgusted. Anyway, he is also a pirate, and he is quite dismissive of things like bounty hunters. Let him be the boss of the bounty hunter now, to be honest, Golden Lion also feels a little awkward. That's right, just the pirate camp and the world government camp are too boring. I need a third party force that can declare war on all pirates or directly on the world government. Whether it is hard power or economy, it is the same. In terms of hard power, the Hunter's Guild must at least have the combat power to directly declare war on the entire marine, and in terms of economic strength, Zhao Hao, the Hunter's Guild's industries must spread all over the world, whether it is the world government or the pirates. In this way, the Hunter's Guild will become a real behemoth, and even the world government dare not do it easily. 
and there is still one biggest gap between the hunter guild and the bounty hunters, that is, no matter whether the target of the mission is a pirate or a marine, or even involved in a war, as long as someone spends money to release it, they can accept it. Percent. Chapter 69. Eternal Life. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Chapter 69 Eternal Life. And the most important point is that their hunter guild doesn't care about the reward offered by Marine, and only makes free judgments based on the reward paid by the client. The entrusted amount is up to the client to judge, but the price given is too low, so naturally no one will accept it. And the hunter guild just acts as a middleman, earning a part of the intermediary fee. It can be said to be a place with an extremely high degree of freedom. Of course, in order to ensure the stability of this organization, Fay naturally needs to come up with a very important thing as a temptation. That is, Hogyoku. However, he does not intend to give other people Hogyoku like the one in the Golden Lion, but intends to smash these Hogyoku into pieces similar to the Jade of the Four Souls and give them to others as a reward to improve their strength. If someone can really gather those fragments into an existence like the Golden Lion, then the Hunter Guild will just have one more guy with the title of Espada. In this way, the speed of collecting folk masters can be said to be quite fast. He only needs to pay a few unfinished Hogyoku to cultivate a group of chess pieces with potential, and he can also control a chess piece that can resist pirates and the world government. Strong organization. And it can also spread out, allowing these 94 people to help them collect the power of the soul and store it in these broken fragments. Advertisement. Of course, the difficulty will definitely not be small, neither the world government nor the pirates will allow a force that is side by side with them to grow wildly, and this difficult problem needs to be handled by the guy Golden Lion. And he will use the identity of Marine to help Marine. Although it's not really good now, when the era of great pirates comes, Marine can even accommodate a group of cooperative FA high pirates, let alone a hunter guild that maintains absolute neutrality. By the way, pay attention to the golden fruit. If possible, get this devil fruit. It will be useful to me. Immediately afterwards, Murphy reminded Golden Lion again, BCFE. I don't know much about the deterrent power of this devil fruit. Only relying on a devil fruit to develop to awakening, he has the ability to take all black and white. If it is in his hands, he can do better. At least 60% of the transaction circulation in the entire world can be controlled. There's more than one way Murphy, with his modern mind, can crush world government. And the easiest way is to replace the existence of Bailey with something similar to a check, and then control the settlement method of the entire world. Then he can use the check to simply exchange for the resources of the whole world, and all he needs to pay is a blank sheet of paper. Of course, although it is said that it can control more than 60% of the funds, it is only used as an assistant and a whole card for negotiation. After all, in this world, strength is the most important thing. If strength is not enough, no matter how rich you are, it is just meat on someone else's chopping board. Golden fruit. I understand. I will pay more attention to it in the future. Golden Lion nodded, and it was not a big deal to him. Advertisement. Also, the news about Hogyoku fragments was released to the outside world, saying that it can make people live forever. I believe that after getting this news, a large number of people will not be able to sit still. The corners of Murphy's mouth raised, as if D thought of a very interesting picture. Eternal life. This card is very tempting for anyone, especially for the powerful and high-ranking people. Otherwise, the world government would not offer a high price of 5 billion to reward op op fruit. And now there is an easier way to obtain it in the Hunter Guild, I believe many people will be moved by it. Aren't you afraid that I will be directly assassinated by people from the world government? Release the information about this kind of thing. Golden Lion frowned, and he could feel that the danger of this matter might far exceed his own imagination. The power of immortality. If the old guy from the world government is tempted, he will most likely send out the background of the world government to snatch it. Although he is very strong, Golden Lion is very clear that it is far from enough in the face of the background of the world government. If you die, then I'll change to an agent of the Hunter's Guild, that's all. People who don't have this strength can only be abandoned. Murphy replied flatly. For him, Golden Lion is not an irreplaceable existence. Advertisement. If the world government really took action, then he could just see the background of the world government. Cut. 
Is that really the case? Golden Lion let out a disdainful cut, as if he had expected such a result a long time ago. He could see that Murphy was the same type of person as he was, and if he really died while doing these things, there would be no fluctuations in Testoline. I just feel that he doesn't have the strength to do this, and then find a new substitute, that's all. But it's not so easy for Lousy to die. Let alone me now. Golden Lion clenched his fists tightly, the unprecedented powerful power in his body made him extra confident. High speed regeneration, steel skin, and the ability to break through the limit, if Hogyoku dies so easily after surviving, then his Golden Lion reputation will cry for it. It looks interesting. Seeing the Golden Lion's appearance, he also raised the corners of his mouth. He believes that the influence of the Hunter's Guild will definitely far exceed the imagination of most people. The world will also become more interesting due to the rise of the Hunter Guild. You've become stronger. Poisonous Insects. Chapter 70 The Shock of the Headquarters. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Chapter 70. The Vibration of the Headquarters. Come back to the office. As soon as he came back, the adjutant next to him couldn't wait to say, Murphy Vice Admiral. This time we can be said to be completely famous. What's wrong? Standing in front of Marine, Murphy returned to that gentle look, and asked in a very gentle and calm tone. That strong scholarly temperament can't be connected with the domineering look when he talked with Golden Lion before. Golden Lion. RG3 Branch killed the Golden Lion under your leadership. And captured all the Golden Lion pirates. The adjutant next to him seemed quite excited. Even his legs were shaking with excitement. Golden Lion, one of the three great pirates. Marine only knows how much headache these guys have. After Golden Lion single-handedly challenged Marine headquarters and destroyed half of Marine Ford, he understood that the three big pirates were existences that Marine desperately wanted to deal with but was always worried about being unable to bear the consequences. If possible, Marine would rather destroy an entire Marine branch to deal with one faction. It's a pity that the other party will not give such a good opportunity. Advertisement. But now, Golden Lion took the initiative to come to the door, and was defeated by the G3 branch almost without injury. It doesn't matter what the pirates are, how about the casualties on our Marine side? Ignoring the matter about the Golden Lion pirates, Murphy's first concern was the casualties on the Marine side. Hearing that Murphy was the first to care about Marine's casualties, the adjutant at the side was even more impressed. If ordinary people defeated the Golden Lion Pirates, the first concern must be whether all the remnants of the Golden Lion Pirates were captured or how many things were seized from the Golden Lion's ship. And what about Murphy? His first concern was the casualties of Marine's soldiers, which made the adjutant admire him very much. With a vice admiral who cares so much about his subordinates, I believe everyone will be more willing to fight for him. As the saying goes, soldiers die for their confidants, and other generals don't care about the casualties below. Only Murphy cares about this issue immediately. Not to mention a vice admiral of Murphy's level, even an adjutant with a little status like him would not care about the specific casualties of the soldiers below, but only knew about the basic issues of heavy casualties or not serious casualties. However, this time, even without further investigation, the adjutant was able to clearly report the death toll to Murphy. Report to Murphy Vice Admiral, this time the crusade against the Golden Lion Pirates, our army has zero deaths. This is all thanks to Murphy Vice Admiral. More than 90% of the Golden Lion Pirates died, and the remaining 100% 10 of them have already lost their combat effectiveness due to your last move, and are receiving treatment from the Marine Hospital. Afterwards, they will all be sent to prisons for temporary detention until the Yin force of the headquarters gives their opinions on how to deal with them. This is pretty standard practice. Although it is said to be a pirate, if it is caught by Marine, it is reasonable to help treat its basic injuries, and then wait for the headquarters, handling opinions to send it to the deep sea prison. Aren't there any casualties? That's good. As for what to do with those pirates, just follow the usual way. Murphy nodded as if he had figured it out. As for Marine's way of dealing with those pirates, he was already used to it, so naturally he wouldn't say anything more about it. Advertisement. And how to deal with it doesn't make any sense to Faye. After about a few hours, everything that happened in the G3 branch was recorded in detail and reported to the Marine headquarters. At the beginning, the headquarters got the news of the Golden Lion's attack, 
but they didn't know the specific situation here, so they immediately summoned Garp, who was guarding the G1 branch, to come here for support. But a few hours later, after seeing the specific information sent over, everyone was dumbfounded. This, the Golden Lion was beheaded. Sengoku looked at the information in his hand, he couldn't believe it, and carefully looked at the contents of the information over and over again. If it weren't for the information coming from the G3 branch, and after various confirmations from the headquarters, he couldn't believe that such a thing had happened. Dot asked for flowers. But after repeated confirmations, the intelligence department at the headquarters expressed 100% certainty to Sengoku that there was nothing wrong with this information. As the only incumbent admiral in Marine today, Sengoku can be said to be Marine's strongest combat power on the outside, but even he dare not say that he can win against the Golden Lion Golden Lion. I can't even guarantee that I will never lose. And Murphy not only defeated the Golden Lion, but also defeated the Golden Lion almost without injury. In other words, isn't the current Murphy already? Advertisement. Thinking of this, Sengoku didn't dare to think about it anymore. Twenty-year-old Marine Admiral, it's shocking to say it. And, it wasn't just Sengoku who found it unbelievable, it was F.A. as well. And Zephyr felt that things were too dreamy. When I fought with Kid Murphy, his strength was only at the Marine Admiral backup level. This is certain. Did he break through to the real Admiral level so quickly? And he still has the ability to fight against the Golden Lion. The ability of a monster to kill with one hit. It's really a bit too much of a genius. Zephyr also got a piece of information, and his mood was very complicated after seeing the content in it. As an instructor, he is happy to see the students become stronger, catching up with or even surpassing himself on their own. But, it all seemed a little too fast. A person who was Admiral's backup strength before, now has Admiral level strength even stronger. This made Zephyr feel a little indescribable. Chapter 71 Responses from All Parties Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 71 Responses from All Parties Two days later news birds fly across the sky many people took out a hundred baileys as usual and took a newspaper from Newsbird. Rayleigh, has anything interesting happened lately? Seeing that Rayleigh got the newspaper dropped by the Newsbird, Roger asked very interestedly. Although he himself doesn't like reading newspapers, he is still very interested in the contents of the newspapers. Who knows? It's nothing more than Marine's actions or the friction between two pirate groups. Rayleigh pushed his glasses with a relaxed look on his face. Where are there so many big events in this world? Most of them are some insignificant news. 497. If there is really any big movement, these people will know it earlier than the news agency. Let me see if there is anything interesting. Immediately afterwards, Rayleigh opened the newspaper directly, ready to see if anything funny happened. But the moment he cast his eyes on the newspaper, Rayleigh's eyes widened suddenly, and his pupils narrowed instantly, staring at the headlines of the news. A very catchy and unimaginable title. Advertisement. The Flying Pirates collided with Marine newcomer Vice Admiral Murphy, the Flying Pirates were wiped out, and the Golden Lion died. Right below the title is the scene where Faye is walking towards the Marine G3 branch holding the Golden Lion with one hand. This piece of news is the headline newspaper published in the World Economic News Agency. Authenticity must be released only after careful consideration. Moreover, the World Economic News Agency is different from other major newspapers, because it is open to all forces, whether it is marine intelligence or pirate intelligence, they will report truthfully. It is precisely because of this that the status of all world economic news agencies is so stable that even the world government seems a little helpless. With the power of fishing boats and true reports, both the pirates and the government love and hate it. After getting the exact news, the news swept the entire sea with the fastest speed and the most terrifying influence. Roger. Golden Lion, dead. Rayleigh held the newspaper in his hand and looked at Roger very seriously. What? The Golden Lion is dead. Hearing Rayleigh's words, Roger was taken aback for a moment, then hurried up and grabbed the newspaper in Rayleigh's hand. When I saw the picture in the newspaper, I was stunned. That man in Golden Lion is actually dead. Although he couldn't believe it, the pictures above and the reliability of the World Economic News Agency made him have to admit this reality. His old rival, Golden Lion Shaki, was dead, and he died so simply and silently. Advertisement. Look at that. 
The golden lion died at the hands of that brat. Just as Roger was still immersed in the death of the golden lion, Rayleigh patted Roger on the shoulder, and then pointed to the two words of Murphy on the title. Words. This is. Seeing this name, Roger was stunned for a second. How could he not be familiar with this name? The guy who walked up to them grandly, and then left calmly after revealing his identity as a Marine. At that time, Roger had already made a judgment, and Murphy would definitely become a big event in the future. B. How long has it been before that brat has been able to defeat the Golden Lion? The young people of today are really amazing. Roger couldn't help admiring, such a powerful strength is really shocking, especially the speed of progress so fast. When Murphy came to their ship, he was just the highest ranking cadres on their ship. It's a world away from Rayleigh and him, and within this short period of time, Murphy actually had the combat power to single-handedly challenge the Golden Lion. This growth rate is indeed unprecedented. At such a young age, he is the Vice Admiral of the Marine, and the Vice Admiral of the New World Branch also serves as a staff officer. Now there is only one Admiral in the Marine, I am afraid. Advertisement, the position of the next Admiral will be arranged soon, right? Roger glanced at Rayleigh. As an old partner, Roger immediately guessed what Rayleigh was going to say. And this matter is probably also a fact. According to this progress, it won't be long before Marine can't wait to put Marine Admiral's position on this young man's head. Some unknown see Moby Dick aboard, father. That guy Golden Lion actually died in his hands, standing beside him as Whitebeard's exclusive doctor. Margot looked at the news in the newspaper in his hand, feeling a little at a loss as to what to say. He also knew that there was a big gap between himself and Murphy. In the duel in front of Whitebeard, he was almost defeated in the form of being crushed. Although Whitebeard and his current captain don't care about it, how could Margot, who is a bit arrogant himself, tolerate this kind of thing? So during this period of time, he was madly studying hockey and practicing physical skills. Develop Devil Fruit abilities. Now, relying on the advantages of Devil Fruit's ability, many combat members on the ship can't match him with hockey alone. But even so, he still has a big gap of 1.3 from the level of captain, let alone the captain of the first team. And what about Murphy, whom he considered a target? In just this period of time, Murphy already has an opponent who can beat his father Whitebeard's level. Not only did the gap between them not narrow because of their own efforts, but it became even bigger. Chapter 72 The Consciousness of Hogyoku Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 72 The Consciousness of Hogyoku However, it seems to mention a new ability of that guy. Golden Lion seems to be hit by this trick so he killed him without the slightest chance to resist. Ying watched the report carefully, and then found a problem. When Golden Lion was looking at his sword, the kid seemed to mutter a word. The next second, Golden Lion passed out instantly, as if he had a mental breakdown. I'm afraid this is the last time the kid defeated Golden Lion. The key point. Through the news reports, hunting films also discovered the most critical issue. Weird boy. It seems that one more ability will come out after a while, even Devil Fruit's ability development is a bit too fast. Hearing Hunting Shadow's analysis, Whitebeard also frowned. Devil Fruit does have a lot of strange things, and there are some trigger conditions. Ten Miles Trigger will be defeated without resistance. For example, the type of childlike fruit of the future sugar. Such Devil Fruit abilities are simply innumerable in this sea. Apparently, Whitebeard sees Murphy's ability as that type, too. The trigger condition is to look at the sword in his hand, and then read a word? If you know this information, it is very difficult to avoid it. Margau thought with some headaches that it would indeed be quite difficult for him to fight with other people with his eyes closed. Advertisement Although it is undeniable that some people are blind, and some scary guys can fight like this, but for the vast majority of people, this is a very dangerous thing. And in the face of this thing, the psychological pressure will be extraordinarily great. But knowing the opponent's whole card, it will be much easier to deal with, but I didn't expect the first opponent of this whole card to be the Golden Lion. The person who spoke was Whitebeard, and some people's abilities were extraordinarily weird. If you didn't know it in advance, it was indeed easy to be recruited. Of course, what everyone doesn't know is that although Sin Fei did defeat the opponent by exposing one of his whole cards, Kyoka Suigetsu. However, after defeating the Golden Lion, his strength is no longer something that can be defeated by a single person. Whether it is Admiral or Roger Whitebeard, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, 
The current Murphy can almost crush the victory. But for the time being, he doesn't plan to act too high profilely, to expose all his strength, he only needs to show a little bit stronger than other guys with top combat power. He wants to give the world government a false sense of control, so that he can use Marine to fuel the flames. Of course, neither the Marine nor the government has considered this level at this time. I just analyzed the battle between Murphy and Golden Lion, and I can probably feel that the two sides are actually at the same level. But the reason why the whole card is called the whole card is because it is unexpected, and it is especially easy to use for the first time. After being exposed, the threat of this trick is almost gone. Advertisement but anyway now Murphy has become the focus of the world. Especially under the impetus of such an influential organization as the World Economic News Agency. It's just that for Murphy, this kind of fame makes him a little uncomfortable, to be precise, even a little disgusted. At the beginning, he showed his strong qualifications just to obtain better resources and grow safely. Now that he has become a marine base leader, he doesn't need to be too ostentatious. The death of the Golden Lion, such a major event, will inevitably attract the attention of the whole world. Although it has brought him a good 5% experience value, I am afraid that the hollow experiment will need to be temporarily delayed for a while. Especially. Obviously I have fed a lot of souls to this guy, but there is no sign of regaining his sanity at all. Could it be? Looking at the Ajuka's level void below who has fallen into complete madness, Murphy couldn't help but frowned. With the passage of time, not only did this head fail to regain its sanity, it even became more and more crazy. Even though he was already at the level of Ajuka's, such a strange scene appeared. It seems that there is no way to use it anymore. After taking a look, Murphy thought about it for a while, thinking that this thing might not be usable anymore. Advertisement if you continue to feed it, it is estimated that there will be no practical effect in the end. And soon the G3 branch will attract the attention of many people. It doesn't matter if there are fewer pirates in the prison. This kind of thing happens in every branch, but the degree is different. And not many people would care about the life and death of these pirates, but if there was such a monster, it would be completely different. Stretching out his hand slowly, Murphy pointed at the irrational 880 monster below, and whispered softly. Hado Jiju Shi Black Coffin. A black cube suddenly appeared, directly covering the Ajuka's level void below. In less than three seconds, Black Coffin shattered directly. All that was left was a battered corpse and a still intact Hogyoku. Controlling the lower Hogyoku into his hands with the control of spirit seeds, the Ajuka's level body seemed to have lost the source of vitality, withered at an extremely fast speed, and then disappeared, not even a trace of spirit particles. None left. And when Murphy got the Hogyoku in his hands, he finally understood what happened. It's no wonder no matter how you feed it, it doesn't help. Is it because Hogyoku swallowed your own consciousness? Chapter 73 The Arrival of CP0 Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 73 The Arrival of the CPO Hogyoku is self-aware, as Murphy has long known. Otherwise, it would be impossible for Hogyoku to respond to the host's wish for an unlimited breakthrough. But he really didn't expect one thing, that is, Hogyoku's consciousness swallowed the host's own consciousness. It's no wonder that the continuous feeding these days is still like this, because the host's consciousness has long since disappeared. It is only Hogyoku's instinct that drives this virtual head into action. Although Hogyoku has self-awareness, he can't think, which is why he shows that crazy look. It's a little surprising. In the Soul Society's experiment before, Hogyoku's consciousness has never turned back to the host. Maybe we can ask that guy to help. Suddenly, Murphy thought of someone. There is another guy in this world who can match his research ability, Vegapunk. Advertisement. But it's not the time to throw Hogyoku out yet, let's wait for the opportunity for a while, and then try to find a way to contact that guy. But Murphy was not in a hurry, eager to get in touch with the government's mind. He is already the general staff of the marine branch, and sooner or later he will be able to receive the task of Vegapunk in this position. What's more, he will definitely become a marine admiral in the future, and by then it will be very easy to get in touch with Vegapunk. But this time Hogyoku used his own consciousness to counterattack the host, and the fact that he swallowed the host's consciousness was a wake-up call to Murphy. Hogyoku has a great disadvantage, that is, after feeling the shake of the master's heart, Jade will lose its own effect. 
Moreover, Murphy does not want a self-conscious thing to exist in his body. So he had already planned to destroy Hogyoku's own consciousness. Although it is said that Hogyoku's consciousness is destroyed, then Hogyoku cannot absorb and materialize from the surroundings, and there is no way to actively let the host evolve endlessly to the next dimension. But for him, this itself is not too necessary, especially the endless breakthrough towards the next dimension. In fact, to put it bluntly, Aizen is still too attached to the identity of Shinigami after all. Among other things, Yuhabak is a pure Quincy identity, and Captain Yamamoto is also just a Shinigami. Facing Yuhabak, Aizen lost after all. When facing Captain Yamamoto, Aizen did not dare to face the strongest Shinigami in the Soul Society since the millennium. Advertisement in the final analysis, whether it is Shinigami, Shu, Quincy, or even human beings, as long as they are strong enough, there is no need to stick to their own identities. Even human beings can possess unimaginable power. For example, Izayoi from Hakoniwa is a very pure human being. Moreover, it can also be seen from the back that the Aizen during the Millennium Blood War is stronger than the Aizen who used Hogyoku to break through five times in a row. There is no need to be obsessed with breaking through the realm with Hogyoku, it is enough to destroy the consciousness of Hogyoku and then fuse it into the body to obtain an immortal body and use Hogyoku as a heart to endlessly produce stronger Ryatsu. Make Ryatsu's strength into ultimate, head on head on, he can head on head on head to head Yamamoto Captain and Yuhabak, even stronger. At this time two ships are slowly heading towards here. After all, when something as big as the Golden Lion happened, the headquarters, even the world government are quite concerned about it. Of the two ships, one is flying the flag that marks the world government, while the other is a fairly authentic marine warship with the flag of the Vice Admiral Crane above it. Soon, a guy in white clothes with a very strange face came down from the world government ship, while Vice Admiral on the other side was wearing a standard marine coat. Because it had already been communicated in advance, except for some people who came here to receive, there were not too many people gathered in this port. Especially in the presence of CPO members, the world government naturally tries to avoid CP members from appearing in public as much as possible. Advertisement, CP0. The adjutant next to Murphy was also standing at the port as a guide. When he saw the CPO, the adjutant also kept his mouth shut, ready to see what happened next. Crane Vice Admiral, let's separate here. CP people have their own way of action so it's not convenient for you to act together. After glancing at the crane next to him, the CPO person said bluntly. The CP organization has the CP organization's way of doing things, which is naturally different from the marine side, and they only believe in the conclusions they have found out. In this regard, he just frowned involuntarily and didn't say much. For this kind of espionage organization, even if it is the marine of the same camp, crane is quite disinterested in them. Moreover, the strength of the CPO members is also very strong. After all, it is an organization that can scare the scientist Guy Saw, who is offering a reward, Nuo Zhao Zhao, of 300 million yuan, so scared that he dare not move. Naturally, the strength is not bad. Even the weakest CPO may have the strength of Marine Vice Admiral. And the powerful CPO aces are even more terrifying in strength, not losing to Marine Admiral at all. Therefore, Crane will naturally not take the initiative to provoke disputes and conflict with CP people. Chapter 74 I Refuse Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 74 I Refuse, Come Yet Although it is said that it is still at the bottom of the prison, Murphy's observation hockey has already noticed the world government from a distance. Haha, ha. the people from the marine side have already landed. Glancing at the void below that had disappeared to the point that there were no spirit particles left, Murphy put the Hogyoku in his hand into his pocket, and walked out like a scientific researcher with his hand in his pocket. He is quite familiar with this kind of inspection, so it is better to take the initiative to attack than to stay here. After a while a trail just west of the marine branch. Murphy had been waiting here against the wall early, until a man in a baggy white coat came here. This should be a more suitable place for your CP people to talk. If you have any questions, you can ask them quickly. I will go to he vice admiral later. The same goes for the presentation. Although Murphy's current strength can use Kyoka Suigetsu to directly hypnosis the opponent, and then simply solve this matter. But after exposing Kyoka Suigetsu, it is inevitable that the world government will respond, for example, 
put a monitor or bug on this CP530. He can hypnosis people, but he can't hypnosis machines. Of course, there are other kinds of methods, advertisement. So he didn't intend to take the risk of going directly to the CPO in front of hypnosis. Anyway, Shu in the prison had already been beheaded, and it was impossible for them to find out what was going on. Abel Vice Admiral, the government has read your report before, but we still want to verify some of the details you said. The masked man at the CPO said calmly. If you just come to ask some questions, then the government will not send people from the CPO, but will send some ordinary officials to take a look and finish. Verification? Murphy frowned, he probably saw the meaning of the person from CP0, and then asked back, what if I say no? It's not up to you whether you refuse or not, the CPO's meaning was very clear, he just wanted to experience Murphy's strength firsthand, no matter whether Murphy agreed or not, he would personally verify it. Moreover, it is very likely that they intend to go all out to start. Sure enough, the way the government guys do things is still annoying, Murphy said, frowning. Even within Marine, there are many people who are dissatisfied with the government's way of doing things, especially among Marine senior management. And the CPO in front of him seemed to be used to Marine's attitude towards him, so he didn't say anything. Is it okay not to fight? Seeing the opponent's actions, Murphy already had a judgment in his heart. The CPO in the CP organization is a very special existence. It is an official of the world government and only serves the celestial dragons. It has a combat power comparable to that of the Marine Admiral. Although Murphy doesn't know which of these CPOs is strong and who is weak, but since they were sent to test him, they must be the top group. If it is a weaker guy, in front of him, he is just a character who has been instantly killed. Therefore, the guy in front of him is most likely the strongest shield who is responsible for the safety of celestial dragons. Advertisement, Tempest Kick. Suddenly, the tall CPO threw his foot out, and the wide Tempest Kick swept towards him like the sword energy of a great swordsman. However, Murphy didn't take a step back, but just stood straight in front of him. Since I said no, the answer is also very clear, your level is not enough to test me. Boom. The giant Tempest Kick landed directly in front of Murphy. What? Then the CPO's eyes widened, he never imagined that Murphy could, BCED, block his attack with such a simple way. I saw that Murphy just raised his left hand, and grabbed the slash of his tempest kick with his bare hands. With a sudden grab, he crushed CPO's kicked foot with his bare hands. Gunfinger. Open black lens bracket dancing wildly close black lens bracket, but in just a split second, the CP0 immediately reacted and aimed a gun at Murphy's neck. At first, I wanted to keep my hand a little bit, since that's the case. Seeing the opponent aiming at his neck, Murphy's eyes also became cold. Then I don't have to show mercy, Hotto 995 swirling dragons of destruction. At this moment, an indescribably huge Ryatsu suddenly rose, and then poured out. Advertisement the huge Ryatsu circled in the air and turned into five huge dragons hovering in the air. Doll. The five giant dragons roared to the sky at the same time, and the sound of the dragon's cry resounded through the sky in this space. Even if they are several kilometers away, they can still clearly see the five giant dragons circling and flying in the air. No matter what it was, it was all blown away under this force, and the mighty Ryatsu directly blew the CPO in front of him into the building next to him. Even if armament hockey and iron body are used, the same is true, not only the CPO in front of him, but the entire surrounding buildings are beginning to collapse in pieces. Although I've heard about his abilities before, the Hado of 99. The CPO who was blown away by Ryatsu looked at Murphy in disbelief. He had also learned about Murphy's abilities before, such as some tricks of Hado and Bakudo. Although it is said that it will not be used, according to their intelligence, it has also been analyzed that the larger the number, the stronger the power will be. The strongest keto used by Murphy before is nothing more than Black Coffin on the 90th and Senju on the 91st. Unexpectedly, now Murphy has directly used the keto of number 99. Just the aftermath of these five dragons, this CPO is almost overwhelmed. Chapter 75 Marine Protection Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Chapter 75 Marine Protection Let me show you, 99's Hado, one of the strongest moves at the apex of keto. 99's final level keto. Among other things, 
The Ryatsu needed to use this move is probably amazing enough, and even some captains are unable to activate this move. And at the same time, this trick also requires the user to reach the peak of Kido mastery, even geniuses with penultimate talents may not necessarily be able to learn this trick. In particular, it can be seen how difficult it is to use this trick. Even if Murphy has unlocked 25% of Aizen's Ryatsu, he doesn't dare to use this trick randomly, otherwise it will be easy for his body to be overwhelmed. Besides the knife in his hand, do you have other cards? This guy. Although he was mentally prepared before coming here, he knew that Murphy was a pretty tough opponent. But after seeing this scene, this CPU couldn't help but want to swear, even though they CP0 often fight some monster level opponents, but they have never encountered such characters. At the age of 19, his strength has already surpassed that of an ordinary marine admiral, and he also has two whole cards. Even the CPO who is used to the big world feels a little headache for such a guy. Wish yourself luck. He left such a sentence coldly, and then the five giant dragons flew into the air, biting towards the direction of CPO. Advertisement before he had time to react, CP0 suddenly felt a sharp pain coming from his foot. Looking down, a dragon had already bit his right leg tightly. So fast. The strongest shield of CPO that can make Admiral level can't react, enough to see how fast these dragons are. And at the same time as he bowed his head, a dragon directly slapped his side face with one paw. Click. The mask on his face was instantly shattered, and a bloodstain was directly scratched on his side face. Damn, what kind of attack power is this? Even if hockey is covered, the defense is still directly breached. Feeling the pain from the side face and the warmth of the blood, the CPO couldn't believe it. His hockey, even the sword energy of a great swordsman may not be able to break through easily, but it was easily broken through by someone, and it directly injured him. Even if you beg me for mercy now, the five swirling dragons of destruction will not stop. Whether you can survive this move depends on your own strength. Murphy looked at the man who was constantly being bitten by the five dragons. CPO, showed no mercy at all. The moment this guy pointed his gun at his neck, he had no intention of letting the guy in front of him leave intact. Although it is definitely not impossible to kill him directly, it is not impossible to directly cripple him with an arm or a leg. Ah! Five flying dragons kept hitting and biting CPO. Even though he tried his best to defend with armament hockey and iron body, he was still miserable. His whole body was completely stained red with blood and the shoulder of his right hand was bitten to the point of collapse, as if with just a little force, his arm can be torn off directly. Advertisement, have you passed out already? Boring. After a while, the CPO person passed out from the pain. This is not simply chopping off his arm with a knife, or stabbing it directly into the heart. Instead, it was an arm that was bitten off by the five dragons constantly, bit by bit. The pain index is probably more than a hundred times that of cutting the arm directly. It's no wonder that people from spy organizations like CPO couldn't help but fainted. At the same time, soon there was a noise outside. What's going on here? I saw the crane hurried here with people, and after seeing the devastated base, his face looked a little strange. Especially when she saw CP0 lying on the ground, she already roughly guessed what happened. After all, they still have great confidence in Murphy, the person they watched growing up, and thinking of the CPO's consistent style of doing things, Crane quickly guessed what happened. Dot asked for flowers. Of course, although he already had a rough idea in his heart, he still had to ask what happened. Murphy, what's going on here? Advertisement, he vice admiral, the CPO people provoked me and killed me directly, so I taught the government guys a little bit of a lesson, Murphy said unabashedly. The other party picked things up first, even five elders couldn't say anything. If you can't beat others and go to provoke others, isn't that just courting death? Is it really like this again? The CPO people really did a little too much? Hearing Murphy's reply, Crane also looked filled with righteous indignation. I thought the other party would investigate carefully, but I didn't expect it to be the same as before. Even if I was beaten up for doing this kind of thing, there is nothing to say. Anyway. Marine must be someone who supports Marine, not to mention the crime that Marine attaches great importance to. As a crane, she has heard more than once that Kong wants to promote Murphy to be the Admiral of Naval Headquarters. If it weren't for the lack of qualifications, and the fact that the government was considering whether to do this, 
the news would have already come down. I will report this matter truthfully to Marine generals. Even if it is someone from the CPO, Marine will not let you off easily. Crane assured Murphy, so that Murphy would not have to worry about matters from the CPO. Although the CPO is an official of the world government and a senior official directly in charge of the Celestial Dragons, it is nothing more than a spy organization that cannot be put on the table. There is a conflict with their Marine, if nothing is said, where will Marines face in the government system be placed?